Yo! What's up, chat? Good to see ya. Welcome aboard to all of you. Good to see you all in the big O chat for our first look at a game that I think comes out tomorrow. Welcome to you all to Call of the Wild, The Angler. Now this guy, <clears throat> this game comes out tomorrow, and uh, we we took a look at other games similarly to that uh, a little er earlier in the last week called oh boy fishing ultimate simulator ultimate fishing simulator 2 something like that oh sorry the music sorry i was getting things ready buford t gamer is here he's hanging out and chilling in the other room he's a little shy but it's it's fine he might come in and say hi he might be in the chat too good guy we uh went out and walked around the uh, big old mall here and then we uh kind of settled in a bit and then went out for uh some sweet burgers had ourselves some whiskey brother some sake now we're ready to do some fishing so welcome Yes, so this is a made from the same people who made uh, Hunter Call of the Wild. So this is Call of the Wild, the Angler, and is an open world experience that I guess we have to experience for the first time. I've not really seen much about the game, so. Oh boy. What is it about your hobby that keeps you coming all the way out here? Um, the algorithm? Is it the freedom? The algorithm. Wandering in search of that perfect spot. No, it's Susan's algorithm. You've made your own path through these hills. No, there was a road. Tasted the fresh water of our lakes, That's true. our rivers. You've been on the water with friends at sunrise and helped the locals long past sunset. Long. But you just keep coming back. At this spot, you got a pretty good idea what's lurking beneath the surface. Bears. But there's only one way to find out. Could not be bears. Whether it's the one you write home about or the one that gets away, <laughs> that feeling Tiny. is what gets you up. That whether it's your first time or your hundredth time, you never know what you're gonna catch. Until Ready, it's yeah, caught. Yeah. Is he talking about a cold? Call of the wild. The angler. Very excited for this, by the way, because the Apex engine is probably amongst some of the most beautiful landscapes I've ever seen. Uh, again, Hunter Call of the Wild has some beautiful, gorgeous landscapes, and a game that does that similarly in the same engine is a game you may have seen us play before called uh, Zero... Uh, what was it called again? Uh, ground... What was it? Oh, God. Zero... Generation Zero. I was thinking, like, Ground Zeros, but that's <laughs> that's Metal Gear. No. Generation Zero does the same map engine as this one, so if you've seen Generation Zero, you'll know what this is all about, too. So, ah, uh, there's Buford in the chat. Chop it down and put up a mall. P pave paradise. Put up a shop. A, pa a parking, parking lot. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and start and take our first look. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All your information in Seoul belong to Beijing. No escape. Okay, cool. But for real, though, clicking OK means, yep, OK. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, let's adjust some of the things here. Ooh, unit system mess. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, let's do subtitles on. Turn down the volume a little bit. And let's go. All right, y'all ready for our first look? Again, thank you guys for tuning in. Where's the... what? I'm Clayton David Johnson. And I would say this here is my part. But from this day forward, well, that ain't quite true. As far as the eye can see, stream to sky, grove to gully, this ain't mine no longer. It's ours. Ours to explore, ours to cherish, and most importantly, ours to take responsibility for. Because if we don't, not a soul will. 
take your time to drink it in and get used to life here. The hot springs or mountain lake are great goals. But you call the shots, go where you'd like. Your equipment will take more than a little mastery. But if it's easy, it ain't worth doing. And you'll thank your lucky stars you did in the end. Hell yeah, brother. It's true that sweet mother nature offered up this bountiful providence. But over the years, man has spat on it, ground it underfoot, siphoned off her plenty for ruin. It's been the job of us Johnsons to keep it together since 1872. Trust me, it ain't easy. Hell, I'm not even sure it's possible. Ooh, a railroad it's bridge. Well worth it. What we have today is beautiful beyond compare. It's due to the collective efforts of every guest that I can welcome you. Golden Ridge Reserve. Damn. All this for fishing? I just feel like I like conquered the enemy and saved the day. Wow. I didn't even do anything yet. <laughs> Music's just rip roaring, brother. Hell yeah. Golden Ridge Reserve. Not sure if that's a whiskey or a Fishing place. Okay. I thought I said blood type for a second. Uh, let's see. Wait, there's only one hairstyle? The hell? can't be like everything available maybe we unlock more stuff as we go along oh yeah I have no accessories no hats all right we must have to unlock stuff or purchase it via these points or something yeah however what I gotta unlock hair hair color that doesn't seem right all right, whatever. Oh, it looks pretty. Brother, yeah. Oh, there's multiplayer in the game too. Nice. Multiplayer confirmed. Gamepad confirmed. Nice. Ah, now this looks a little Sophia better. Sophia Taylor from Taylor's Tackles here, and I hear you're in need of a little fishing refresher. Well, let me tell you, you've come to the right place. Although another right place to go would be Taylor's Tackles, right down at the Central Outpost. Can't miss it. Welcome to Golden Ridge Reserve. To ease you in, we'll be. Uh, you'll be presented in some short explanations and instructions. The instructions will cover the controls and how to catch your first few fish. Now, first things first, let's get you in position. Step up to the pier if you please. Uh, no. I'd actually like to go to a Wendy's. Where's my car? Oh, damn, this looks nice. Hi, Tan. Yeah, is that Pat from SNL? Yeah, they seem to be quite limited on the, the options, and I feel like that's something where we can earn points to just unlock more stuff in the future, which is kind of cool. I feel like they should have let you make whatever character, like, appearance of a human that you wanted, but then unlock other stuff later, like pants or a hat or, like a, you know, like a fishing vest or whatnot. Like it'd be cool to earn points for that. 
Move to the Jetta. All right, we're going to a Volkswagen. I now. see you brought your own rod. You can't get anywhere if you don't take it out. So you do the honors. He wants me to take it out. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So, let's start off with a simple cast. Keep those shoulders and hips square for me. Are we casting a spell? Is this Harry Potter? Uh, let's see. Hold left click. Pull the mouse back, then move forward and release. Cast too slow. Reel it in. Ooh. Take your time. Get used to it. That's cool how that works. Where's Bradford? He's probably talking to his girlfriend on the couch. Or watching me on the TV. Hi, Bradford. Don't touch my whiskey. Alright. Feels fantastic, right? Well, I'd like to see you do a few more. Let's say two? Yes, ma'am. Is there a way to fast fast reel? I feel like there should be a way to adjust how quickly I reel in. Will we play Manor Lords when it's released? Soon. Soon. Now we're fishing for real. I'd like to see a nice clean cast. Strike as soon as she bites and reel her in when she's tired. Again, ma'am, I'm not sure if we're talking about fishing. Wait, can Oh, there's... Oh, you can actually see fish. Cool. All right, wait for the fish to approach, nibble, and then bite. When the indicator says strike, press right click. I guess we got to watch the bobber. The bobber rosser. I'm waiting for it to say strike. There we go. Woo! Hell yeah, brother. There's no escape. Z and X for drag. I think we're fine, brother. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> that is the tiniest little fish ever. That put up that much of a fight? First try! Yeah! Uh, weight 0.41 kilograms. Apparently it's a... I don't remember this song from Juvenile. Oh, we used a bloodworm though. That was sweet. Let's release him. Congratulations! She's a beauty. The fish here aren't yours to keep, so even if you love her, you gotta let her go. Sometimes you just gotta... Sometimes you just gotta. Float indicator. This is your float indicator. It'll show you the status of your floater and the distance of line between you, it and you. The indicator will start to wobble and when a fish is nibbling and, be pull, and will be pulled down when the fish bites. Well, that bites. Uh, catch a fish and watch the tension. Oh boy, I can already feel it. I can just feel the tension. Can you feel it, chat? It's like when you're watching the stream and you look down and you notice the thumbs up button isn't blue and you think to yourself, oh my god, I enjoy this content, but if only there was some sort of way to indicate to the YouTuber that I'd like to see more. It's got to be some sort of way to do that after I've subscribed and turned on the notification bell and activated all. And I made sure that allowed gifting was on, so that way if someone dropped a big O member bomb in the chat, I could be eligible for one of those, you know, that kind of tension. All right, this is the tension indicator. It displays how much tension is on the line relative to the maximum te tension it can withstand. The more the indicator fills up, the more tension is on the line. If the tension becomes too high, you risk snapping your line. Keeping tension in the line will ensure the fish can't escape easily and tire the fish out. Tension will be high when the fish is fighting and decrease when it gets tired. Keep the tension high by moving your rod up and away from the fish when it's fighting or by reeling it in when it gets tired. Gotcha. All right, makes sense. Wait for a fi fish to approach, yeah. Okay. I like how they're starting us out real easy, real nice like.
Nope, here we go. Yeah. That's what I thought. Can you climb to the top of that lookout tower for me? So it's the same, it, ma'am. It is the same exact fish that was in there before. <laughs> ma'am, there's literally no difference to its height or weight. That is literally the same fish. How could you fall for it twice? <laughs> it's the same fish. Literally the same fish. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh, it's 0 0.1 kg heavier. Oh, I guess he had a snack. All right, climb the lookout tower and survey the terrain. All right, he had a lunch, Chad, okay? I did do a lot of talking a moment ago. This game's cool, man. I like this already. Oh, there's 22 of these things? <laughs> Why are there birds circling it? Yeah, I was tackle tackling. Tackling. Talking. Jeremiah, thanks for the two months as a raptor egg. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for your support. Do I get binoculars? I hope so. Ooh. Dude, I hope we actually get to um I wanna be able to drive a truck with a boat to it and just like launch the boat from the boat launch that'd be so cool not necessary but it'd, be, it'd just be a cool thing to be able to like load up the boat from one spot and then load it to another i don't know if you guys have ever launched a boat solo before but it's certainly a, a certainly a task golden ridge reserve what's in the name huh well this one dates all the way back to the late 18th century french trappers named the park cret d'or Brother, yeah. Is the stream Hello. almost over? We're just starting, baby. You. Can you see me? Come find me. I'm down at the outpost. Life at the outpost? Are you falling in love with a cowboy man? Yeah, our stream's basically just starting, man. That was like literally the tutorial area. And now I guess we're going to go find the shop. I want to look around like there should be binoculars. Oh, we can see points of interest. Brother, yeah. I feel like we're going to see dinosaurs. Out here in Jurassic Park, you bet your ass we're charging the highest of price, but everything's nice. What's that? You want white rice? That's $500. Chilean sea bass. You excited for this game? Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Like, I think this is going to be a fun, chill game to play with a friend. Especially since it's open world, you know, you can... You can jump into a truck with a friend, go to opposite sides of the same lake, and be like, Alright, first one to catch the biggest uh, smallmouth bass or largemouth bass or whatever wins. Or whatever you want to do. It, just, it gives you an environment to grind and just chill. These types of games need way more love. This right here is my pride and joy. The Central Reserve Outpost. This ain't just any outpost. You'll find all the bells and whistles here, like Taylor's Tackles, a brand new shop run by my friend Sophia. Other than that, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation, plus a flagpole for yourself. I get a flagpole? Yeah. Whoa, 40 miles an hour on this road? Uh, no. I don't think I'd go over 10. Oh my god. I think it's a bear. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Watch for bears. Yep, there's certainly vehicles in the game. There we go, speed limit 10. Yeah, I've seen vehicles in the game before, so... Cool that you can drive around to different locations. Looks like we can just order it via the 
Ooh, auto rentals. Uh, the Voyage Blue Rat. The Voyage Blue Rat is a tried and tested off-road vehicle that readily tackles all weather conditions with its patented Quattro Plus system. Quattro Plus system offers low range capability that won't leave you in the lurch when you have somewhere to be. It's two lanes wide, 65 tons of American pride, the Voyage Blue Rat. It stuns deer with its super high beams. It's a squirrel washing deer smashing driving machine, brother. Accumulating in a hardy and versatile workhorse of a 4x4. That means four times the four. Okay, I'll take one. Oh my god. Oh, we get a car. Hold on. I'm going fast now. Wait. I thought this was America. What the hell? Out of bounds. You just hit the reserve's outer boundary for the first time. It's best to turn back now, otherwise you'll... You will be put back where you're standing now. Don't worry. There's nothing to see beyond this boundary. That is a lie. Wow. Oh, to hell with it. I'll walk. You can't even clip a sign? Oh, we're... Wait, what is that? Cascadia? That's not even a real place. Yeah, it's like the Truman Show. I drive down that road and suddenly like concrete mixers and like construction equipment all appear out of nowhere. Alright, I'm not that mad. This truck is a little weird to drive in thir first person though. Is there a fir third person view? Let's see if there's a third person view because this is a little weird first person. Hmm... There's a Cascadian Oregon? Okay. Well, apparently they splintered off. Alright, to be fair, it's probably also a lot easier. A fish to a face. While you're here, can I interest you in a bargain? Probably a lot easier to uh, drive with a controller. Oh, well, that's cool. Actual person to talk to. Hi, ma'am. I thought I was all alone out here. Um, How are you? And where did you get that sweet vest? I wanted that. Can I have the vest? Oh, wow. What do you got in there? Is that full of quarters? Can I always thought it would be lonely out here, but honestly, I think more people need to get away from people. Yeah. Get away from me. Got him. How about some bread? It's on the house. Oh, she's feeding me bread now. Nice. Oh, look at this, boys. All right, here's your rods and your reels and your lines and lures, hooks, bait, floats, jig heads, soft plastics, medium and heavy hooks. Wait, she said it was on the house. That is a lie, ma'am. All right. Now. You won't get far if you don't put your bait on your rod, so give it a go. All right, get my sh oh, I knew it. See, I told you. Yeah, we can buy all of our clothing here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, you can buy a freaking boat. Hell yeah, brother. I just want to be able to, I want to be able to tow it, though. With the truck. Oh, it's all the same boat. It's just the paint job. Oh. Alright, well, that's still cool. And you can go with four friends. Like, you and uh, three other people can go into uh, into the boat. That looks cool. 
I think I like the first one. Actually, that one's pretty cool, too. Definitely like that one as well. Alright, I like a lot of those. Those are cool. Oh, okay, and then this is where you customize yourself. Why did my truck start automatically? And Bradford's hot wiring it. Yeah, there, Bradford. Get your gear here. Storage. A greenhorn. Uh, equip the bait. Yeah, I didn't see a way to uh, customize the car. You've come to the right place. Um. There might not be a way to do that because it's a rental. But who the hell would rent? Who would buy a boat but only rent a car? Like, okay. Did Bradford bring his inflatable bed? He's got the couch. He's fine. He was okay with that. What can I get you? All right. How do I equip, ma'am? Uh, with your rod equipped, press Q. Oh, I gotta pull out the rod. And then select the bait. Thank you, ma'am. We're just getting our, uh, our bearings. Okay, bye, uh, are you Sophia? It says Taylor's Tackles, but he did mention Sophia. Taylor, are you single? It's a little different than Seattle, but boy, is it beautiful. Oh, she's from Seattle? Okay, never mind then. I'm taken, suddenly. Oh, wait a minute, boys. Side view mirror doesn't. Rear view mirror doesn't even work. Unplayable. It is 2022. Unplayable. But wait, you didn't buy anything. What the hell? Yes, I did. Well, Chad, I'm about to do something, and as a gamer, you know I have to do this. Well, I tried. Yeah, it'll buff out. Oh, there's a boat rent. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll we'll worry about the boat rental later. All right, Van Dam, let's do this right. Drag is a function of your reel that determines how much power a fish needs to take the line from your reel. The higher you set the drag, the more energy a fish needs to spend to take the line. Stronger re stronger reels produce more drag. Change your drag by equipping a rod using one and then using X and Z buttons, of course. Uh, a higher Higher drag will increase tension and tire the fish faster, or even prevent it from taking the line, but might also put your line at risk of snapping. Lower drag will let the fish take more line, and 0% drag won't allow you to reel the fish. Oh, sounds like a real drag. Try setting your drag higher. Give setting your drag lower a go. High speed, low drag, baby. Let's go. Now this is fishing. Let's listen to some classic country. Never mind. You didn't buy beer? Oh. That's why she was mad. Oh, strike too early. Okay. Sorry. I'm just learning. I thought the strike thing only popped up when it was the tutorial. But okay. Fishing without beer? I know. Okay. No, 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 no. Woo! 
Hell yeah. A largemouth bass silver. Hell yeah, brother. Door 503. You're actually going to get this one? That's ah, fun so far. Guide to pumping. Pumping is the act of lifting your rod to pull the fish closer to you and reeling in the slack line created as you lower it back down. Uh, keeping your rod opposed to the fish swimming direction is a good way to tire the fish faster, but wait with the reeling until the fish has stopped fighting unless the drag is holding it in place. Alright, now let's try catching a fish with what you know about drag. Try not to let the fish gain too much line by keeping your tension high when you need to. Dude, they're doing a really good job with this tutorial. I knew a lot of these things, but oftentimes I don't even care about it because games don't really take that into account. They don't usually put in a lot of the fishing mechanics in there. And thank goodness we can actually very easily address, adjust the uh, our depth there for our bobber. Nice. Alright, let's, uh, let's go. Alright, we gotta sing the fish song chat in order to summon the fish. I really, really wish I could get this fish. How come I hear the Jaws theme? Do, 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 do. The bobber's not standing up straight, so does it mean we're too much depth? I'm gonna um, see if I can go to the end of the dock. Yeah, the, I think things are too shallow. Do we have to be here, though? No, okay. I think we can go over here. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Well, that can't be that shallow. Come on, pal. Okay now, pump it. Louder. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. I gotta pump three times. Oh, we're we'll still getting XP though every time we catch a fish. Oh no, we gotta keep fishing in this fishing game? Darn. Do we get drunk after? Well, I'll tell you, I've had beer-battered fish before, and that's really nice. Ooh. It's a big one. Nice. That was exciting. Cool. Oh, what idiot parked their car on the dock? I better move it. Someone could get hurt.
There's a bear in the back seat. Yeah, bear in the big blue wild. Well, oh. well, I take it you got my message. Welcome to the reserve, buckaroo. Hi there. You have bear mace? <laughs> Bro, you have bear mace. This guy's got bear mace. Warden favors. Help Clayton preserve the reserve by reporting objects of interest you find while fishing and traveling. Reporting any instances of invasive plant species, diseased or infested trees, or tourist attractions. You tried talking to that Sophia? If talking was driving, she'd need to be pulled over. First up, Buckaroo, here's your bread. Oxide daisies are the thorn in the side of sweet mother nature. Pale, mangy weeds. Can't miss them if you wanted to. Now for the butter. Engelman spruce beetle infestations. Horrible little creepy crawlies that'll rip a forest apart in a flash. And finally, bread and butter ain't squat to a big sizzling hunk of meat. Hey man, brother. Personally, I reckon bones are useless without tasty flesh attached. But them tourists love a crusty stegosaurus. So keep a lookout. Don't go out of your way, but if you're fishing and you spot one, let me know. We're gonna go find some dinosaur bones? Hell yeah. The Golden Tour. Go to the windmill. Or water mill. Ghost Town. Oh, they want us to go drive around. Oh, cool. There's a sawmill. A dam. Hot springs. Okay, these are probably all locations to fish from, too. Well, let's go explore. What are these? Watch your step out there. You never more than a few takes away from a gully washer. And I, I don't need my floor I just wish he'd just here. give and take. You know, give and take. My ideas are good, and I know he knows. Okay. I don't think these people talk to a lot of people. Float Fishing 101. The Float Fishing Guru from Taylor Tackles is here to tell you what's what and who's who. I've picked out a nice spot for float fishing, so catch you there. Oh, I don't want to do this, ma'am. I want to go back to the dinosaur bone stuff. Yeah, we'll do this Did one you first. know the oldest fish hooks ever were made of sea snail shells and thought to be about 23,000 years old? Pretty neat, huh? Buy something. <laughs> Lovely afternoon for a fish. <laughs> or perhaps a purchase? Okay, ma'am. I, I see you work for YouTube now. She'd be a great Enjoy. influencer. As I live and breathe. Will you two shut up? I'm just trying to leave. God, I'm getting out of here. I can't even escape that way. Alright, just leave me alone. God. Taylor's tackles challenges. Find three types of challenges uh, set by Sophia on each outpost board. The challenges include fishing challenges, catch a specific fish in a particular location, photo. Oh, we can do photo photography too. That's cool. Uh, find out where a photo a photo was taken and catch a specific fish there. Map challenges. Find a location on the map and catch a specific fish there. Great. Uh, where's the map for the water mill? Oh, here's the map by the way. Nice day, isn't it? Purchase and consume. At least she uh, jumps right to the point. Doesn't waste your time. Oh, I guess I was allowed to drive up there. They just wouldn't let me during the tutorial. That must be the water mill. Or not. Oh, you can carry multiple rods. Okay. Well, it would be nice to go drive to a new location, but I don't know where a water mill could be. It could be anywhere. I would imagine it's on a river, so maybe there? Oh, that's the railway. Oh, so it's got to be these diamond locations. Okay, the water mill's to our north. Can I set, like, a marker? Alright, there we go. My god, that transmission. There we go. He's found a down 
Does this truck not have mufflers? This ain't the same kind of corpulent blood guzzler you use for bait, though. This parasite slurps away at the very ground we stand on. Unlike its just as evil twin, the sawmill, this piece of work is allowed to keep working, which makes its work that much worse. I just hope this thing stops spinning before the world does. If I'm around to see it, all the better. So you're mad at a water wheel. You mean this clean, renewable source of kinetic energy that's somehow passing through that piece of wood that it shouldn't? Unplayable. Yeah, kinetic energy, yeah. Oh, well, they want us to visit the ghost town, but let's do a little fishing at each of these locations. This is pretty, by the way. Is there, like, an actual... Like, do we get a camera? Oh, they should have given us a camera and also let it... Let us make money from photography and stuff, too. It'd be kind of cool to take pictures and, like, send it back. That's pretty, man. Okay. Is that anything like Maine, Buford? Hey, you guys want to know some Bradford lore? I can't tell you guys Bradford lore until you get to 200 likes, though. I found out something new about Bradford today. But that's my fee. You know how the lady at the tackle shop wants me to buy something? Well, there you go. Got any snake oil? Have you found any <laughs> Jimmy Hoff in the fountain in the youth? I don't know, but of all the places to go to, I don't think that windmill was that bad. He was, like, mad at the windmill or the water wheel as if it were like some oil rig built in the middle of a natural national park or something. It's like, the hell? No, Brad Bradford's the name he goes by, chat. But that's not the lore. Can I, um... Oh, let's stand here. Got any snake oil? Have you found Jimmy Hoffa or the Fountain of Youth? Not yet. We'll see what happens with little bobber in the river. What if we can do fly fishing? I like how on the screen it shows the option to cut line as if like that's going to be something you're going to do all the time. I was hoping the water would be a little more calm. 
But it's actually flowing like a river. Makes sense. Let's see if there's a, uh, maybe a little pond nearby. Oh, over there. What's this? Point of interest. Oh, that's car valet. That's where you can spawn a car from. Brother, yeah. Purchase something from that small town pushy saleswoman and she's got to throw in the kitchen sink for emotional damages. That's right. Or give it to me for free for the emotional damages fee. I don't know why they're mad at the lumber bill. Well, hell yeah, now, th now the truck's a lot quieter all of a sudden. Now it's like an electric vehicle. What the hell? Before it was way too loud. Okay, let's go to... Whatever is over here. The hell was that? I also want to find the dinosaur bones. Can I mark a random location on the map? Oh, you can. Nice. Alright, so we can mark waypoints. That's cool. It's not Bigfoot, chat. Bigfoot's related to the bear family. I should have went up that way. Now walking will be faster. It'd be cool if we could at least see deer and stuff walking around here. I hope the next game that's made is a combination of fishing and hunting and has some survival aspects to it. I think that'd be amazing. Bum, bum, bum. was a lot closer than I thought. You know, I don't know if the bobber symbol over there actually has anything to do with the depth at all. They haven't mentioned anything about depth, so we could have taken that lady's tutorial course, though. They told us the real basics about fishing, but... We could always circle back and, like, learn a little bit more to see if there's a way to adjust that. Or how, what, like, what the best way to do that would be. And can you check that message in the chat, please? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Maybe we'll do some of the tutorials that'll show us exactly where to go. Actually, let's check and see if there's fast travel in the game. I'm pretty sure. Then we can just spawn the truck back. Well, there is. Nice. Alright, let's go do that tutorial. The float fishing guru from Taylor Tackles is here to tell you what's what and who's who. I've picked out a nice spot for float fishing, so catch you there. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to take your uh, fishing course. Ooh. Ah, here's all the fish in the game. Largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, bluegill, channel catfish. Yellow perch, northern pike. Yeah, I've caught a lot of those bad boys. 
Uh, the coke, coke, cockney, cockney salmon, the sauger, golden trout, lake trout. I think I've actually caught caught a trout before. Rainbow trout, mountain whitefish. Got to be more than that. Oh, lots of stats. All right, let's do um, float fishing 101. All right, let's you Betty. Let's go to the jetty. What's this say? Trail guides, please return. Wow, is it like a little elf that guides you around? Is that his little house? Bro, Golden Ridge Reserve just sounds like a like a Tennessee whiskey. Bro, this is like is this like Animal Crossing? Yes. This is like alright. So imagine Animal Crossing and that little uh, fishing mini game. Okay, now forget all about Animal Crossing and then that part I mentioned about fishing, except realism. At least for the most part. Oh, hell no. Come on, man. Really? Every game? Everyone? Ah, man. You'll need a float rod, so whip it out. Yeah. Float fishing involves suspending a bait underneath your float and a whole lot of patience. Uh, float fishing takes its name from the floater used to indicate if a fish is nibbling on the hook. The floater sits on the top of the water while the hook is vari a variable distance below the surface. Once a fish indicates, uh, interacts with the hook, either nibbling or biting, the floater will move, indicating when it's time to strike. Uh, what sets a float what sets float fishing apart from spin fishing is the more idle approach to getting a bite and the use of bait rather than lures after casting you wait and let the fish come to your bait if you don't get a bite just recast in a different spot before you cast try experimenting with the drag and hook depth the drag set by a reel determines how much power a fish needs to take line and gain distance the hook depth determines how much line distance there is between your hook and the float this should always be less than the depth of the water. Uh, the hook depth is a measure of distance between your floater and your hook. The ideal depth depends on uh, where the fish you're after swim around. Change your hook depth with up and down. Okay, we'll probably learn that in the encyclopedia then to know what fish we're looking for. If you're float fishing, you might want to try casting closer to the shore. Okay, so they, I think they think that points two oh meters is what they want. Does that water look like it has a huge current all of a sudden? That water surface looked like it was all going up to the... Okay. Wait, short casting is an ideal way of casting when you'd like your hook to be close to where you're standing. Use most often when fishing from a boat. Use right click to short cast with your rod equipped. Oh, we're not necessarily fishing. We're learning the uh, techniques. Now use all I've taught you to catch yourself a fish. Oh, there we go. Now we can fish. Five dollars for Chuck Norris to karate kick the fish into my boat. I wonder if we have to buy a boat. Look like we can pay for the skins, but I feel like it'd be free, like the truck. So we could probably do some boat fishing soon. Yeah, see, the water should look more like that. And that even looks fast, but...
Okay. I have a question for chat, and this re refers to Bradford lore. Are you all ready? The Buf lore. The Chuck Norris to karate kick the fish into your boat. Where do you think Bradford took his girlfriend on a first date? Good luck, chat. Yeah, the, 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 both of those were not two songs that I wanted to play at all. I meant to play this. McDonald's, McDonald's, Applebee's, Wendy's, Arcade, Lobster Boat, Western Sizzler. <laughs> what the hell? No time, just trolling. Thank you again, Levi, for the five. I'm gonna let chat keep guessing on where they, where he may have. Somebody probably already guessed it, but I'm gonna wait until I see it in chat. Golden Corral. He does like Golden Corral, apparently. Arby's parents' basement. Wow. Fishing his chip route. Fun fact, I think Bradford probably wasn't even paying attention to the stream until he heard me mention that he was probably watching some Britney Spears videos or something out on the TV. I like how somebody said lobster boat, though. That was good. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, catching a fish is taking a long-ass time. IHOP, TGIF, fishing on the lake, China Buffet, a Sonic. Fogo de Chao, the uh, Brazilian steakhouse. Oh, that'd be nice. Well, I wish he'd take me out to a Fogo de Chao. Uh, bunny hump shrimp. Where's Bradford from? Maine. I'm actually surprised. It's, it's a joke I probably would have made long ago, but I would have never guessed that it was real. You're in Maine too? Okay. Well, where, where do you think people go out on a first date in Maine? Yeah, you know, I'm going to do a long cast. A red lobster, lobster rolls. Oh, God, I fell in. Oh, God, this is embarrassing. Ah, uh, okay. Ew, seaweed. Beware of wading too deep. You're, if you, you're not allowed to swim in the reserve. and will be put on the shore if you do. I think I have weight... Why don't you spawn me on the dock? Oh, there we go. I guess I had waders on. Uh, Cracker Barrel, Papa, <laughs> Papa Chino's. Curry <laughs> Oyster Roadside Inn. I like how you can stand in the water to fish. That's kind of cool. Means you don't have to necessarily be on the shore. You mean shallow water. Ben and Jerry's, Tim Hortons. Internet cafe. Yeah, he went. He and her went to play uh, fruit slots at, at an internet cafe that I made. I'll give you a clue, chat. It's in the easternmost part of the United States. In Nova Scotia, they have lobster at McDonald's. Really? Note to self, go to Nova Scotia. Yes, it's in Maine. Yes, he's from Maine. The, the date occurred in Maine. But where was the first date? Well, I thought, uh, Bradford, I honestly thought they would have guessed it, at least like second guess. Wow. Bar Harbor. What? Did he get her a McRib? No, that's for the... That's when he proposes. He's going to put a, a ring right in the middle of that McRib. Did I set the fish line too... I think it's too shallow. Bar Harbor was our second date. See, that's how you knew it was like... He was actually really into her. Oh. 
That's too slow. I moved like super fast. Too fast for the mouse to detect, I guess. Someone got it? Did they? Where? Movie theater, East Chicago. Uh, de defective, can you say your answer again? Waffle House. I mean, it's so stereotypical. Like, I, I guess chat didn't even think of it because it was like hiding in plain sight. It's like if you were a murderer in Maine, where would you go? You'd go to the, yes, the West Quiddy Head Lighthouse. Or wherever. Yes, he went to a lighthouse with his girlfriend. <laughs> or I guess, at the time, his date. <laughs> Lol. The only house I'd go to is probably an IHOP. Or of the Rising Sun. No, I'd probably go to Red Robin. They must have went out to eat afterwards. Bradford, where'd you go after, after a long, exhausting day... At the old uh, lighthouse, you got you got a little peckish, and got a hankering for some vittles. Where where would you go to eat? Ghost hunters went there three years ago. Are you telling me there's a ghost in my house right now? Did Brad Bradford died out there and somehow got onto a flight to my house? I don't think we got food that time. What? Oh, Bradford. We could never... No, we could never be together. We can be friends, but... If if you're not bringing me to, like, a Jersey Mike's or a, uh... Famous Dave's, which I don't even think you know what is, uh, you're out. Defective is a confirmed Mariner? Yeah. Or a Mainer? Whatever. Dude, Bradford lives in a town where they have pirate fests or something. Maybe this bait sucks. Do I have any money? How do I get, like, money? Oh, I have 260 bucks from all the fish I catched. Cotted. What's the word? Catched it. Ma'am, I have been sitting here waiting for bait... Bait a fish, but what the hell? You have famous Dave's in Iowa? Okay. Could you please? Oh, come on. Is there not a boat here? Oh, let's go out on these rocks. Catch it is correct? Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, the water isn't deep. You need to lower your set depth to 17 FR. The hell is that? Mines in meters. Let's try 40. Oh well. Are we really in a rush? We're here mostly just to hang out and make fun of Bradford. Except Bradford's a good dude. That's why we pick on him, and that's why we mention nothing of Pinto anymore. Dead. Dead to me. Try by the pillars or other cover of st and structure. You would do that in real life. I don't know. Do you think the game takes that into account? Let's see how realistic it is. You would want to aim for either the bottom of the dock or... Are Pinto and Bradford the same guy? No, and I know that for certain now because Bradford actually came here. If he were actually Pinto, he would have put me off for like another two years. Let's just go next, literally next to the dock. There.
Are we gonna play uh, Beyond the Wire again soon? Soon. You know who we gotta play again with though? Uh, Lumberjack Samurai was an amazing uh, person to, uh, to to stream with. He was great. I can't even see the bobber. What was the answer? He took his girlfriend to a lighthouse. I mean, I, I like the stereotype. It's kind of cool. It was love at first light. Might want to try a different type of bait. Yeah, but it's a tutorial, so I don't think it I don't think she's trying to teach me bait. It's I think she's just trying to teach me I mean, Look at how freaking shallow this water is. Yay. All right, if this doesn't work in the next 30 seconds, we'll go back to the shop and see. Actually, can we, is there an online store? I feel like we got to drive back to her every time. Handbook. Oh, maybe, well, we, we do have that red worm bait. Wait, let's try the red worm bait. Depth closer to the bottom? I mean, I'm pretty sure like we're about as close as it gets. Favors. Locate and report dinosaur bones. Uh backpack. Spinner bait. Oh, we actually have more than one bait. That's for spinner. And we're supposed to learn this one. Uh, it didn't change though. Yeah, spinnerbait's good for bass, but we gotta learn float fishing first. You know, it seems like most of the lakes are actually connected via rivers. Most. Looks like there's a west side and an east side kind of separated by this mountain. Okay, let's see. Rod, backpack. Oh wait, it was Q, isn't it? Don't, I'm supposed to press Q for the bait. Okay. It looks like we also get a, a mastery with the bait. We could become possibly a met. Well, you, you know what I mean. But apparently the more we use a bait, the better we will be with it. Speaking of bait. Man, isn't this map beautiful, chat? Yeah, it's like, it's like, um... It's like a painting from that one guy. He was on PBS for a while. He had an afro. I think his name was like... Mr. Rogers or something? Or what was the show called? Sesame Street? Yeah. Man. Big Bird was, he was like the best artist. Oh yeah, yeah, it was Rob, yeah, Rob Boss. Yeah, it was Rob Boss. Damn you, chat. You didn't take the... Wow. The one time I try to call out chat. This really shouldn't be taking this long. This is just a damn tutorial mission.
Wait, is there a different bobber I can choose? I, I think those are literally the same one. Oh, God. Oh, you... Oh. Okay, well, we got it. All right, we're in the right spot. Now we just got to be patient. I, I didn't know the game wouldn't pause. Oh, dude, the fish jump out of the water. Nice. Raptor, do another short cast with right click. Have you gone fishing before? Are you an expert? Don't you fight me. I didn't I didn't realize we were gonna get a, a giant frickin' whale. It's probably caught on a sunken boat. Couldn't have been a fish, no way. Not mad. Not mad at all. Nope. Not mad. What's the uh, line that we have tested for? Strength point five zero kg. Near ducks. Yeah, I don't know how much line is. We'll have to go back to, um, we'll go back home and see how much it is. do what uh, the professional fisherman said in the chat, whoever that was. Are we in New England or something? Uh, yes, the... Yes. Frickin' A. 
progression. Every rod, reel, bait, lure, and plastic can be mastered. A piece of gear is mastered when it has enough earned mastery points. Master points are earned by successfully catching a fish with a piece of pla a gear. Mastering a piece of gear will grant you XP. Brother, yeah. Oh, we got credits for that too. Nice. Dear God, not another Chinatown detective agency. Or yes, please. And can I get fries with that and Lay's potato chips? Okay, I'm gonna become a nothing but Chinatown detective agency stream unless we get to 4,000 members tonight. Good luck, chap. XP is awarded for activities such as catching fish, discovering locations, and finding items. Oh, so you don't have to fish to just get XP. That's cool. Uh, as you gain XP, you'll be given credits that can be used to purchase equipment, clothing, and more from the shop. Earn enough XP and you'll level up, granting you an additional bonus of credits. That seems cool. All right, let's go to HQ and buy some new stuff. Well, I guess I'll walk there then. Good job. Uh, I think that was... Yeah. Someone gave a good tip in the chat. Apparently... You know what I, you know what I want to go do? You guys ever... Um, you ever watch, like, those uh, fishing shows? I, I loved watching all the, the, like, super early morning, like, 4 or 5 a.m. hunting and fishing shows. And then they'd always do the bleeper rules of, like, the dude falling into the lake. And it was always funny. <laughs> it was always funny every time, dude. They'd have the camera crew out. They, they'd usually put two boats together. Like, the fishermen and the camera crew would be, like, in the same boat. And then there'd maybe be a couple extra guys out there, too, just to... Whatever, just assistance and stuff. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I thought that was a bear, but clearly it's not. It's... Just a guy named Bernie. Hello, Bernie with the mustache. Bernie the... Apparently Bernie also didn't uh, use the text on the same line. Put out your campfire, so... Moderate today, I see. Sorry, chat. Sometimes I'm a little, uh... Okay, let's go to the... Where's the tackle shop? Waiting for her to start screaming at me. Ma'am, if you can hear the sound of my voice, I'm willing to make a purchase. Ma'am, I have money. Lots of money. Unmarked bills. Uh, I have Bitcoin. Lots of Bitcoin. Crypto. I have NFTs, ma'am. Do you take NFTs? Why make a deal with the devil when there's a hell of a deal right here? That's what I said, NFTs. Name your poison. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Everyone starts somewhere, Ooh. but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. Spinning reels, bait casting, and match. Ooh. Uh, different reels. I think what we need is a new line. Monofilament. Fluorocarbon. And braided. I think we probably want this, right? The 1.5 might be good. At least two. Mm. Visibility is high, though. Oh, but it's the same for any of them. Oh, we could do a fluorocarbon for two. Visibility low, abrasion resistance high, diameter. Should we go with one of these, the fluorocarbon? Maybe we can put some riboflavin on the end of it. Braid is super strong and thick. Yeah, but it doesn't have the uh, flexibility. Although I don't know if they took that into account. Oof. 
Well, we're gonna have to buy gear of all type because we're not necessarily going for like the biggest fish ever. We gotta catch like all kinds. Uh, so let's go with the Fluoro 140. Yeah, let's do that. Bro, you wanna buy a magic carp? Yeah. I bet you do. Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow's fin. She better sell you the shiny squirrel with all the bells and whistles. Uh, she better f sell me another rod, but I'm unfortunately I'm down to like what twenty bucks, hundred twenty-two. We could try a better uh, rod. Take a look at these. Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow's fin. Ah, we also need to buy a new. Let's see if we can sell the old line. Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone oh. who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow's fin. Oh, we can't sell the basic tier one stuff. Okay. Well, we'll work our way up to the tier two. We'll use what we got now, and then we'll go buy a new rod that can support. We'll go for the two. The two rod buy with the. Next time, okay? I did you. Well, we have the greenhorn by by default. But we need to get a max strength li uh, line strength of two, so that's fine. Wait, what was the other stat next to it? The other stat was action slow. Okay, let's do let's do a new quest and just get XP by like visiting stuff. Locate and report dinosaur bones. We gotta go find some bones. Yeah. Um, they must be down by the crossroads. Or we have to find them. Looks like they were through a tunnel. It might be anywhere. Is there a marker on the map? I don't see... Oh, locate and report dinosaur bones 0 out of 8. Oh, they could be anywhere. Dinosaur bones can be typically found in tunnels and caves. Okay. So if we find a tunnel or a cave, we got to go do that. Uh, we've got to find daisies found by the side of the road. And Engelman spruce beetle infestations we also need to deal with. Well, let's visit the ghost town. Or the sawmill. We drive around, we get some free XP, and we get to go on a little tour. Not bad, brother. Let's get the whip. Hey, it's me, the shopkeeper with a great deal. You know where I am. Ma'am, you are the only business in town. Blog writing. I have no idea what that blog was. Must be a hidden collectible. But I see collectibles over here. Uh oh, well, I'm having fun and on a different note, what happened to the gold dollar coin? Oh yeah, I don't know. Oh, these are just challenges. And you gotta find locations. That's probably for later. We could do more of the basic tutorials too, but maybe we'll do that after we learn some of the, uh... Let's go drive it and then we'll come back and do some more fishing tutorials. Maybe, maybe we'll get a free rod or something. Who knows? Thanks again, Levi! Yeah, brother, yeah, brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, yeah, brother, yeah, yeah. 
Man, he's killing it. Thank you very much, dude, for all the support. All from you, man. Thank you very much. Thanks to all you guys smashing like. Welcome to all you new subscribers. Thanks again for an awesome week of uh, subscribing and hanging out and gift bombs. And of course to Buford for making the trip up here. I know he didn't have to, but if he didn't, I would have told this horrible secret. Horrible. Now it's no secret. You all know that Bradford loves his steaks well done. Criminal. Oh, it's a kitty. Missing Raymond. Aww. Kitty. How to catch whitefish. Car driving 101. Well, driving instructor Sophia here to show you the ropes. Hold on, let's First do that. Is the outpost valet. We'll get free money from learning how to drive a car. The next step is to call a car. The valet will have it there in a flash. Hopefully there's more cars. Now, to get in the car, I'd recommend using the door, but you could always try and borrow up from the bottom. Okay. Sure hope you can drive. Give that a go. He's found it down, loaded up and trucking. Are we gonna do what they say can't be done? Levi with another five. Uh-oh. Car go stop now. Where is she taking me? Oh yeah, eastbound and down. Yeah, Bradford likes the steak well done. He explained the reasoning, and the reason is actually sound. He doesn't like gristle, and with it being well done, it makes it easier to, uh, at least his steak's well done. It makes it easier to uh, world cut off the gristle. simulator with role playing. I'm in. I'm in too. It makes sense. Gristle can be gross. I don't mind a little, but yeah, sometimes enough's enough. He had a sound argument. Oh, we got two, 22 credits for unlocking that. Nice. Oh, she just wants me to park it there. Okay. Um, fire danger moderate. Only you can prevent wildfires. Meanwhile, open flame near brush. Hmm... I think Bernie the bear wants to uh, kill everybody. And now to leave. I've already shown you the door. Sophia out. I like Sophia. She's a little firecracker. Legendary Fisherman 4. Kenny, welcome aboard as a little raptor, dude. Thank you very much for the support, man. Thank you very much. Welcome to the uh, membership club. Yeah. All right, now we have 144 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. That's free money. Let's go back and keep learning. I guess this is the quickest way to see all the game's features, too. For everybody curious. Oh, boy, have I got a deal for you. Boat drive. Oh, we're going to drive a boat? Welcome. Wait, let's wait till daytime. How do we sleep? Look who it ain't. Then. Hey, buckaroo. I tell you what, Buck. Never love something too much. I love the Chipotle cheese chips they sold down at the gift shop too much. And Bradford stopped dropping by I'd the stock. I'd never go it. anywhere without them. Like a scrumptious colostomy bag. People even thought my surname was Ann Chips. Now they discontinued them. And let me tell you, life has never been the same since. If you love something, treat it like a butterfly, Buck. You can't hold chips too tight. All you're left with are crumbs. What? Uh, Gnet, thank you for becoming a little raptor as well. Hope you're enjoying the uh, streams, guys. 
Just chilling with some fishing. My Zeke is one of them computer programmers. Don't know why he wouldn't want to do what his pop does, but I am so proud of him. Your son's a computer programmer. That that's nice, sir. I'm gonna go nap somewhere. How do I like change daytime? It's getting awfully dark. Not really a safe idea to boat at nighttime. Did you miss me? Back again with a boating crash course. Oh. First stop is the outpost pier. That is not a good word to use, ma'am, when it comes to boating. Well, it appears we're going to be driving a boat now. Lord help us. Wait, I heard another note. Clark something gold dollar. Hell yeah, brother. Next step is to call a boat. The valet will have it there in a flash. The Lionheart 500 Sport. The Lionheart 500 Sport's a compact, mobile, lightning fast a fish assault boat crafted from pristine fiberglass for a high durability and unyielding performance, brother. Amen. Now. To get in the boat, take your time and be careful not to slip. Okay, I just need to get inside the boat very carefully. Boats are best shared, although for safety reasons, we ask you to invite three friends as passengers maximum. Passengers can enter and leave a boat in the same way the driver does, but there's a few different... I can already imagine what shenanigans will happen in this game with people trying to get out of a boat. <laughs> um... First, if a passenger is fishing on the boat and the owner drives away, someone will be forced into their seat. Second, a passenger can also not drive on someone else's... Oh. Passengers cannot drive someone else's boat. Third, you cannot call for a new boat when there are still passengers on the old one. So everyone can get their own boat, but you can't be... Okay. You mentioned in your application that you could drive a boat, so let's see what you've got. Uh, my boat's sinking, ma'am. I'm taking on water. <laughs> I just sat down in it. Come on. Oh, this is great. Oh, now my socks are wet. Man. These are collectibles. Alright. Wow, this is smooth. That's a nice boat, brother. Amen. Alright, uh, objectives on the port side. Now, take out your rod. Oh, come on, I wanted to keep on... Oh, there's no wake? Oh. There's no wake from the boat. Unplayable. isn't too different from the shore. Let's see what you can catch. I want to be up there. Can I change positions? Oh, there was a button for that. Oh, it just teleports you? That's probably actually for the best. Yeah, there we go. Catch a fish. I'll do like a meter. Yeah, she keeps asking me to take out my rod, and I don't know if I should take it personally or if she's just like that with everybody. Okay. Well, this is nice, I guess.
Dude, I'm baked. Thanks for becoming a raptor egg. I want some brownies now. Use bread and go deep with the uh, bobber. Oh, that might be a good idea. Oh, a catfish. Okay. Well, we don't really have the line for catfish, though. We can only catch something like with 0 .50... KG. Our, our bobber and reel kind of suck. I mean, our uh, our line and, and reel suck. We can try. I don't know how many real world techniques that this takes into play. Like, you know, you can twitch the line from time to time. You can reel it in slow. A little bit here and there. Maybe if I see... Oh, wow, that worked. And we got him. Wow, a massive... That'd be the biggest fish catch of all time. Wow. Your boat also has an anti-beaching feature, which you should take a look at. If you ever find yourself curious what happens when you beach your boat, you're not. By default, every boat is equipped with a special anti-beaching feature. Anti-beaching will make sure your boat can't get onto land. Damn it. This feature can be changed in accessibility options by switching boat assist off. Now, get back to the pier. Dock the boat, and my work here is done. Latest. Once you're ready, I'll uh, return to land and make your way to the jetty. Dock the boat, simply drive up and press E, automatically put your boat in the correct position and put you on the dock. Right. I think because some of these are tutorials, they're just giving you a, a fish to just be like, just to teach you, not, you know. I really don't think you're going to catch a largemouth bass with a bread like that, but stranger things have happened. We can catch a cold. Uh, let's see how this anti-beaching feature works first. What do they mean by anti-beaching? Okay. It just like Hello, Buck, it's Clay. stops you just before the edge. At Ruby River Rage if you need me. Got you down here. Close enough. Oh, that's a nice paint job. That's a nice boat. I thought, I thought that was a Mercury 250, brother. I was about to cry and fill this lake up to twice its elevation, brother. Okay, let's go do another tutorial. How do I sleep to, like, pass time? How big is the map? That's um, it's fairly large. I think we've only... Earlier when I was driving, I think we only went up to here. The longest drive I've taken is only like maybe a 1 16th the size of the map or something? 10th? Looks like roads go all around these places. All right, let's do. Evening. In the mood for a bargain? I'm in the mood for... How 
How to catch a mountain whitefish. Yellow perch, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass. I think we've kind of done these three already. Large, small, uh, mouth bass, and also the yellow perch we've gotten. Try a mountain whitefish, but I want to fast forward time. <sighs> Wish I could spend more time fishing and less time behind this chaos. Even when I'm serving customers, I'm catching fish in my head. Hmm? How do I sleep? Goodbye for now. Pair of glasses. I was here. Wait, didn't they tell me I got a flag pull or something? Uh, do I get a house on the map? There's the shop and the outpost. Trailhead. I guess this place is supposed to be in Wyoming. Huh. How do we go to sleep? No sleep, only fish. Well, I mean, I kind of want to wake up in the morning now. Well, I've caught many fish, yeah. Bradford? Is that you? What are you doing? Are you sneaking in? How you doing? What's up, guys? Hi, Bradford. Hi, Bradford. Hi. Right here. Oh, no. There you go. Look, chat, it's not me. It's, I'm not faking it. How's the game? Uh, it's good. I think... I don't know how to sleep, though. No, I don't know how to sleep. You want me to go to a cabin? Oh, chat saying hi to you. They like you. I think. I think so, but they can't hear you because I have RTX on my mic a little bit. Oh, there you go. Now they can hear you. You just have to speak loudly, Bradford. Hello, chat. Hello, Bradford. No need to yell. I'm right oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Buford T. Gamer is uh, my co-fisherman tonight. I, I want to go somewhere to sleep, Bradford, so I can, like, you know, go to daytime, but I don't know how to do it. Yeah, but the house is the outpost, but that's just, like, HQ. You think I can sleep in the warden station? There's a fence. I'm not allowed. It's, it's a no noob zone. It's getting darker. And they want me to go to the ghost town at nighttime, and that's a hell no. This ain't no phasmophobia. You there. Ah, stop that's it, ma'am. They'd be flying off the shelves if I She's had any. She's screaming. Ma'am, I think there's still more to buy. Ma'am, <laughs> yeah, ma your mic was on. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go. I guess I'll just eastbound it down. It. How do you fish with an email? Well, some of you have fallen for that before. It happens. Raptor, where about where you spawned in? Well, I spawned in over here by this lake. And then I climbed this tower and then I walked over here. I mean, I see a point of interest. A marker for a channel catfish, mountain whitefish, and yellow perch. Yeah, there's no bears, Chad, okay? No bears. Oh, there's a marker there. Outpost and something else. Doesn't show me what... Actually, there's a marker there. Hold on, let me go back there. 
I think that's there's a house down here with like a little flagpole in front of it, but I can't like go in it. I think my house is over here. I think this is my house. Yeah, but I can't go inside. I think I was supposed to like do the tutorial stuff, like the what they want me to. You want me to go to the ghost town? That's a lot of destinations to go to, though, before nighttime. Thirteen major locations, Bradford. That's a lot. That's more than frickin' Denny's. <laughs> or wait. Well, maybe not as many as a Denny's, but... Stay tuned, car care. Thanks for the 20 months as a raptor egg. You see how things work, Bradford? Yeah, pretty cool. I'll play sound. It works for me, I guess. New member, welcome. Louder, Bradford. Oh, he can't even. <laughs> I'm right next to him. I have to like. Yes, that's true, Bradford. Uh, it's the RTX thing. It's so that way. I don't know. Sometimes there's lawnmowers outside and they get loud. They do, yeah. We can get our RTX on, Bradford. I think it. they mentioned something about this flagpole, but I never interact. Remember how on Call of the Wild, when you'd find a place, you'd raise a flag? That's what I was thinking here, but... Um... Well, I could go to this point of interest up here. There is a... There is a fast travel. There is a car in this game, yes. Unfortunately, there's no, like, loading a boat and uh, putting it onto a trailer. Oh, great. This seems scary as hell. Is there did a flashlight? You, you... Yes, Bradford's the personal stream assistant. Um... You want to be my new manager? You could be. What if you need the keys to the cabin? Maybe I can just sleep in this abandoned building. I couldn't even push open the door. Uh, there's no ability to check or pass time or to check the weath? The weath? Oh, weather. Yeah, there's no ability to skip time. That is. Like, got a berry in its mouth? That looks like a blueberry and a cherry. Something's fishy about that, Bradford. Oh, Dennis from Gas Station Sim. It reminds me of Dennis. Yeah. Dennis. I don't think I can sleep anywhere. Wow. Who condemns a building out uh, yeah, the railroad, I guess. I don't see a button for, like, a flashlight or anything, either. I can't, I can't see time of day, I can't see... Did you catch any fish with fingers? Fish fingers? No, it's fish, fish sticks. I don't, I, wait a minute, this, this could be my house here, where it says undiscovered, maybe. Because the, uh, the locations they want me to go to are already marked with these gold diamonds. So should we go here, Bradford? It just... uh, could be, but point of interest are marked already with those gold diamonds. Alright, let's go to the... Let's go directly east. Well, I like how they put a compass down in the lower left corner, but didn't give you a clock or like a... Like a GPS on screen or anything like that. Well, actually, they do have one when you're in the car. Hmm? Oh, maybe. It comes out tomorrow, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, Bradford. I think they should make this and Hunter Call of the Wild into one game. To hunt and fish would be so awesome. You could, once you get bored of fishing, you know, or, or drive up <laughs> to, and shoot a deer from your boat. 
Oh, that would be perfect. But they gotta make a story about it because conservation is important, Bradford. What? You want your children's children to be able to go out. Well, Hunter Call of the Wild's all about that. It's like, hey, we want you to go out and gun down 45 elements. Uh, because they're important. Elephants are very endangered and special. Anyway, here's an anti-tank <laughs> rifle. Give me, just give me my M60. I will. Here's a javelin if you need to, uh, take them out at range. Good luck. Alright, is this... And then they give me these little things to read. Oh, and then well, it says, like... Yeah, I know. Ew, reading. But then it tells me, like, it's a diary, but I don't know where to read about that. Yeah, we have to rent a car. No, it's free. There's coins to find? Inspect to read more. Oh, you think so? Oh, here are the notes. Okay, now I figured out how to read those. Let's go eastbound and down. I'm gonna go to where that marker is. That's where I think the house is. Oh, you want me to drive through stuff? No, this game, yeah, it's like everything stops you dead. And it's got like a large hitbox. Wait, I heard something. There's these items you can find. It makes a box. You know the... Well. That's just the sort of weed we're looking for, Buck. Sally will be rip, rear, and ready for introductions in no weed? time. I even made her little business cards. Oh. I was supposed to find like random dandelions. And uh, I found them. Weed! Buford, you should be proud of me. I made a lot of good money off that, dude. I leveled up my XP. I leveled up my XP and we're not talking Windows, Brad. Get it? I'm X XP2. Like Service Pack 2 from uh, Windows XP. Oh, yeah. Dude, I don't even know how to turn the lights on in this car. F doesn't work. L doesn't work. Are, are they on right now? No way. I died. Father, yeah, horrible. All right, we need better lights, the ability to turn them on and off. And I, I don't know why I need to drive halfway across the map to go to bed. You think I'm gonna fall asleep at the wheel? No need. Oh no! Wang Fist, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg again. Welcome back. Good to see you here, Bradford. If I if I turn off the webcam, you want to play for a little bit? Yeah, you can take the helm. You you want to be you want to captain this ship for a little while? No. Be shy now. Oh, we're, oh, these are towers, Bradford. There's 22 of these things. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, there's 22 of these towers to find, chat, to look around. We, fo we found one. Why can't I sleep in the tower or something? Like, I don't get why I can't just sleep. Later, American trappers rendered the French name in English as Golden Ridge Reserve. Oh, I quite like the old moniker, but hey, the new one's not too shabby. Well, so those are probably some more towers to go to, Bradford. Yes, Bradford's visiting. Been here for less than like 12 hours. 
Also, what's really weird is after that cutscene, you hear the car turn on again, so it sounds like somebody's stealing your car and, like, about to leave. <laughs> like, you hear the car there's start. A, you just look down and there's, like, a buck. Yeah. So oh, yeah. <laughs> there's a bear. Bear is slashing my tires. <laughs> yeah. It's a family of bears. Oh, a fan. Yes, the Berenstein bears. Come on, kids, get in the back. Dad, you said you were done with the cr life of crime. Shut up. Get in the car. Thought you didn't see anything. Alright, I have 234 points to spend. I can go back and get a better rod, which is good. I guess we got that just by exploring. I do like how we're getting XP by just exploring, which is cool. Like, we don't always have to be fishing. I have no idea how to sleep. Can you get a boat? You can, yeah. Yeah, you can rent a boat, you can rent a car. Uh, you can get fishing gear. I'm gonna go back to HQ. I mean, they mentioned something about giving you a house, but I just don't see an indicator in the map. How's the fishing so far? It feels good. We've only done floating fishing so far, but um, I want to buy some gear for spinner fishing, but I wonder if she actually closes. You must be here about the buying things. You're very welcome. What'll it be? <laughs> Maybe I have to buy a, a house. I can buy vehicles. I can buy skins, though, for the car. Or for the, oh, I actually can for the car. I, th I thought it was just the boats. Yeah, it's all the same car. But some of these are just like, okay, that might be a necessary one right there. Oh, that's the Jurassic Park colors. That might be worth it. Actually, that one's really nice. That one there. Yep. Okay, anyway, I'm going to buy a better rod. Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby <laughs> has a smoother learning curve than a minnow's face. What? <laughs> Oh, can Bradford just move in with me? I mean, if he wants. He's gonna have to start paying rent, though. It's gonna be a mandatory the daily stream. Maiden is the preeminent spinner in Junior's rod catalog. Still easy to use, still incredible bang terrible. for your buck, but now a little better yeah. than the rest. Well, you, you can get comfortable with the captain's seat eventually. Eventually, if you want. All right, let's do... Uh... I don't know how to switch... Oh, wait, do I need a different re... No, I shouldn't need it. Feel for it. Well, it won't let me switch rods now. Oh, I probably have to put in my. This bank park mark, has which problems, is really weird. but there isn't a day I don't wake up and thank my lucky stars I'm here. Wait, this is in my backpack though. Uh, maybe I have to unequip the... Oh. I don't get it. Oh, F for backpack. If you've spent any time with Old Clay, you've heard him talk about his son. One in, one out, that's the way of the world. Glad I can be here and not there. Yeah, Inspect brings up the, uh... You mean here? Oh, yeah, that's what okay. Oh, I see. That's weird. They didn't show it. Oh, okay. So it's like you have to Wanna save a, a like a loadout. You should buy something. Always trying to sell this stuff, chat. Oh, good job, Bradford. Oh no, I can't well, use a read. You have to, to unequip from the. Well, wait. That's fine. Because what I could do is this. I can just switch the. Uh... Well, I can just switch the rod from this to this. Oh, and then it takes all the equipment away. Okay. No. That's right, a reset up sign. So that and our better line that we bought. What? Had a little clash with old Clay. It's like he just doesn't want more people in this park. Maybe he'd have to get more buckaroos. We need to buy a, a new reel so we can get better stock. Alright. Hold on. One rod on the rocks. So, what's the better reel? Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother wow, learning curve than the Jeez. Than This thing can tow Russian submarines from the from the below. The curse can be raised. Yeah. Bring a T seventy two turret back this down to earth. This feature classic spinning reel carries the extra heft you've come to expect mm -hmm. from Russia, but feels fast and strong in the right hands. Oh. 
and I can't help but notice, but your hands seem just right. We want this one, so I need 150 points. We gotta go get a few more dollar dues. What is this? Oh, bait casting. The show packs a powerful punch for a palatable yeah. price. You don't need a mortgage for a bait casting reel that won't let you down. Man, they, they have her say lines for everything. All right, well, we'll have to go back to the old one. We still need more cash then. Why is the flashlight out? Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone, sure start. you don't want to buy more? Well, so this is the ranger station. Like, you can see it on the compass to the lower left. And this is the... It's like a wanted board for contracts. And then this is the market. This is the house marker, which is just a... I guess you just teleport from flagpole to flag flagpole that way. But I didn't have to raise a flag? Yeah, just discover the point. So it looks like our, yeah, our light is auto, but it's like, I don't really want to fish at night. I want to do, certain fish are different at certain times of day, so it feels like better to Check the board. teleport. Okay, well, I'm going to finish this setup then. And we'll go fishing. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Bradford said it's under rods. Hands a genius. So we want to go with the old greenhorn. There, yeah, we're all set up now. Yeah, you can use bread, yep. Bread's good for catfish. I, I need a better line, though, if I'm going to go get some catfish. All right, well, whatever. Let's just go down to the dock. And uh, keep on fishing. Wait, is this my house? Oh. I was gonna be like, wow. Like, if that was. Bro, this is like. A, wait, no way. There's more? Is one of these cabins mine? They're on mark, though. I feel like I can't. Bro, they tell the they tell of how dangerous it is to have open unattended fires and then they show two of them. There's two. <laughs> Whoever's staying at these cabins, even if it, they're unattended, it's horrible. I right, maybe I'll sleep in the woodshed. Gen Z, what's Oh, Generation Zero, yeah. It certainly looks like that. God, that's so fun to use anti-tank rounds and robots. And now we play the waiting game. Is Bradford, is Bradford as cool IRL as he is on stream? Yeah, pretty much. Same dude. But you could tell that after, like, gaming with him for, like, an hour. He is the legendary feud of Buf. Or the, the, the Ford, the Ford of Buf. Yes, that's his uh, king name, the Kingly. Wrapped you up so late? Uh, not as I mean, you know, the streams would go for typically another two hours or so, and I'm, I'm down to keep on streaming so long as you guys are enjoying. I did want to do a video tonight on Victoria 3 if we could get Bradford's take on some things too. I wanted to watch like an hour long stream of it and kind of do a reaction and share some things because I still want to make videos and stuff but I want a little lighter uh, load because Bradford wants to go to an amusement park tomorrow. Same one I showed you guys earlier this year. And that's cool. Oh look Bradford I got a yellow perch. It's silver. Oh. So cute. It's cute. Got it with the blubber. Dude, there was another game where you could actually keep them and raise them and then release them back into the lake at a bigger size for even more XP. Kind of cool. You just had to remember to feed them. The perfect cast. Oh, we'll start.
Oh god, Icarus? Don't poison even start. Icarus. Remember the fishing in that game when we get poisoned by the fish? Is Victoria 3 really coming? Yeah, they had a two, like a two hour gameplay stream today. I'm gonna put up a video tomorrow. Oh, Skyrim. Oh, cute. Am I gonna stream the uh, amusement park? No. I, uh, I'd have to wear a backpack and stuff and that's probably not gonna fly. I mean, I would like, yeah, I mean, I mean, if, if me and Bradford sit down, maybe I'll stream and you guys can chat with them and stuff and look around the park, but uh, it's going to be kind of chill. Bradford just wants to chill. And I think, honestly, one of you paid Bradford to come up here to make me take a day off. Nice try. Yeah. Yeah, I won't throw you under the bus. <laughs> well, that just means no AM stream for you guys tomorrow, but when we get home, we'll probably go out to eat and, uh... Or more like Bradford will finish his hamburger, and he'll be good for the next uh, day. <laughs> Bradford took two nibbles off his burger and was wiped out. I don't blame him. That was a big old burger. Bro, but Bradford couldn't even, like, he would have to be a snake to detach his jaw to eat that thing. Yeah. A burger, like, Bradford had to climb up a ladder to get to the top bun. You know, like in burger time? You know, when you have to knock the top buns down? That was Bradford, like, trying to squish his burger down. Alright. Uh, lower than 160, baby. It's like, price, every time I cast, you guys are like, price is right. All right, we'll do we'll do seventy millimeters. More centimeters. Oh, really? Jig fishing. <laughs> Brad, for the mic's on. No, go ahead. No. I think we were all enjoying each other. So what about switching? What now? <laughs> okay. You can't hear him? I know. The RTX thing is on. I can try to change it. Hold on. Wait, it's not. Oh, it's just on like a threshold, I think. Um, I think I just have to set it to, uh, there's a thing for thresholds for audio. That's device. Filters. Ah, noise gate, that's what it is. Um, there, I can just turn it off. Hi, Bradford. Hello? Oh, yeah, you can hear me now. Alright, chat, so I'll just turn it on the continuous broadcast so you can hear Bradford a little better. Is it getting hot? Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, oh, you can, is the door open? Yeah, that would probably help. The AC's on, but it's supposed to be, uh... Yeah, I know, it becomes hell. I always have to open the door, otherwise it becomes bad times. Boys, if you're gonna game together, keep the door open. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, chat said 70 meters. I didn't think that worked. Uh, let's try 40, and we'll cast over meow. Yeah, I just don't like the whole, like, fishing at night thing. I, I don't, I don't... I just want to be able to see better. I'm sure... Fishing at night for certain fish is... I don't think the game takes that into account, whether or not you can catch more fish at day versus night. Chat, you saw his left arm? Wow. Good, good for you guys. Oh, there's his hand, dude! Arm alive! Yeah, there he is. Wow. 
No fooling. He's right no, there. I'm, I'm actually here, man. He's right there in his Fallout uh, boy t-shirt. And by that I mean the actual boy from Fallout. Pip boy. Not the, not the band. Chad, I also have a confession to make. The shirt I was wearing yesterday was... Uh, well, it was... What's the dog's name? Meat? Something? Oh, um, Why did it slip my mind? Dog meat. Dead meat? Dog meat? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I thought it was dead meat. I knew it was dog meat. It's not dead. It just it didn't feel right that his name was dog meat. Anyway, I wore that shirt yesterday. And I'll probably wear it again tomorrow. You can't stop me, chat. It's illegal to fish at night here. Illegal to use a flashlight also attracts fish. Oh, really? Well, I would have skipped to daytime. I would con comply with local, state, and federal laws. But apparently this is uh, Montana. And they don't do that there, I guess. Um... I mean, the map looks cool at night, but I just want to go night-night. I want to go home and watch, like, Price is Right, eat popcorn. Or whatever. But we could also get more XP by just exploring the map. Like, you don't have to just fish. I could eastbound and down it, load it up in truck, do what they say can't be done. Which is apparently putting Twinkies on your pizza. They say you can't do that. Why not check the keybinds? Yeah, good point. I did try to do that, but some of the... There's not like keybinds. Oh wait, here, it, there it is at the bottom. Oh, thanks, dude. Good call. Yeah, I tried to look for that before. So it looks like headlights are automatic. Wait, you can. St is this boat controls? Oh, maybe. Oh, auto move is G. Move left, right, up, down. Move toggle journal. Quick menu. Cast, short cast, reel. Yeah, I don't see any way to skip time. Or any menu for it. Bye, Bradford. He's making a call chat. 119, hello? Chat, we're alone now. I won't let you bother, be bothered by him again. Yeah, good call on the, wait, it's the last option? Oh, you mean in the, in this thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't see any, uh, I don't see a button for that at all. Yes, Chatty's gone. We can now be together. All right, the noise gate's back on. If he comes back, I'll turn it back on. He's cool, man. Bradford's really chill. Honestly, interacting with Bradford is just like interacting with two of my other cousins. The same guy. Where's he visiting from? Well, he's originally from Maine, but now he's in Texas for a new new job. So he's up from Texas, which is cool because it's basically the same time zone. For Bradford, it's not really much of a difference to his schedule. In other words, he's not going to lose any sleep over eating all my food. Sleeping on my couch. But I own... I, I did force him to go into a couple of live streams. As we're with Jerry and Pinto, it's mandatory. Let's try from this dock. Now, typically when we ca when we do this before, the game put us at like 20, 30, and we just literally did it right from the dock like this. You grew up outside the main capital. Is that is that the primary capital or the secondary? Try fishing a new place. I want to. I want to get some better line before I go, though. I, I bought a new reel. Or no, I bought a new rod. I bought new line, but I need to buy a new reel. Otherwise, I won't be able to catch better fish. That's kind of how upgrades are going to work in this game then, is that we can't necessarily use... We have to use all things in a group. Like, we have to use a total better loadout.
What's up, Norman? How you doing? Hmm. Is there fly fishing? Um, I did not see... I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Oh, a short cast is about 10 meters. That's good. Doesn't need to be much more than that. I think we should do a giveaway on the Discord after this stream for everybody watching right now. What do you guys think? A free giveaway? Yeah, let's do it. Well, let's go drive. Hello, Red. Hello. Okay, let's go do, uh, let's go find some points of interest. That'll give us money. I just need a little bit. What was it like 150 for the spinner? So oh, we'll go grab that. Yeah, I gotta say I'm a little confused about the decision to not give us like a house or a place to sleep in. Or totally understand the the possibility of night fishing, but. It's like a horror game now. Where are we going? There it is. Is that girl up 24 seven? Is she like there all day? Uh, need top water bait for surface fishing at night. Fish feed on bugs at night. Cast where they're jumping. Oh, good point. Well, I don't have that yet, so yeah, that's why it'd be a good reason I'll to skip I'll be right night. here with the bargains. Well, whatever. We'll go drive around. This also could be like a pre-release version where they didn't have that in or something. It would be a weird decision. Well, let's get eastbound and down. the right way uh yep the long way but it's the short way too don't forget to tip your valet yeah what's up george how you doing this wait is this a turn oh yeah that left way yeah the light seems to be automatic no high beams no flashlight toggle no time control wait what's up 
That's a pedestrian bridge. Let's use it. Brother, yeah, brother, yeah, brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. Offloading. Okay, 1.4 kilometers to go. Uh oh. Oops. Uh, is there a car rental? Oh, yeah, there it is. We're good. Reverse, Terry, reverse. Let's see. The sawmill, and that's got to be another watchtower. Oops. Okay, so. We just gotta take two rights, basically. Stick to the right side of the road. What's up, Wolverines95? Good to see you, brother, back. There we go. Now we're coming in on it. Five. We'll hit up a tower in a haunted house or something and go fishing again. We're going to find like skeleton fish or something. Gotta jump down in front of me. Oh! The driving in the, I thought it was kind of challenging to drive in way of the hunter, but those roads are much more wider than these are. These roads are like narrow as hell. There's lots of signs, and they'll just stop you right on the, right on the dime. Landed it. Oh my god. Alright, we're 600 meters away. I can't believe there's not a third person for the car. There's a valet up there too. That's got to mean a um, probably another tower. Go 
cut corners like the Dukes of Hazard, brother. Amen. Oh, look at this bridge. Pretty. Yeah, I think it'd be much easier to drive with a controller. Oh, cool. The car will teleport back up here. And now it's an electric vehicle. They say this park is haunted. And, well, the only baloney I care to deal with is in a sandwich, if you know what I'm saying. Amen, brother. However, if we're talking about the ghosts the logging industry left behind, well, I'd have to agree. There's the ghosts of men and women who lob down sweet Mother Nature's vital vitality for a, a toot or two. There's the ghosts of fir, juniper, and pine, took from us far, far too soon. Heck, the building itself is a ghost, once whirring with its own baleful life and energy. And look at it now. Just an eerie shell where work once was. Although I'll have to ask you to stay out of there for safety reasons. Should probably remove this bit from the tape later on if I figure out how. We're listening to tapes? Raptor after dark? Uh-huh. Oh, there we go. Now we got money. Hey, Buck. I'll be down the Emerald Lake Plateau outpost in a flash if you need me. See you there. Amen. So much more to see and do, though. I guess one thing we could do to fast travel, too, would be to take the boat from one side and then maybe beach it. Like, we could go here really easily by just taking the boat across the lake, right? Although I don't know if we can get out of a boat if it's not at a dock, but that could have a dock. But then again, once we get here... Oh, maybe there's a car uh, transfer place or whatever. Can you fly fish? Um, I don't think so. I think not. Maybe. I don't know. All right, let's find that boat. All right, to the other side. So let's make a waypoint. I think we just got to go straight across. You want me to catch you up for the last two hours of the stream? Uh, I mean, just fishing and exploring, really. Been a few tutorials. The tor tutorials are pretty solid in this game. And you have to be a little bit more patient than most games. Typically, a lot of these fishing games, you just pick, like, a map. And the map has, like, it's a different part of the world, so thus there's different fish. And so you have to gear up accordingly. But here it's, like, location is one big map. It's open world.
Yay, there's a dock. Some more credits for that. We have 207 now, so I think we have enough to buy all the equipment we needed. Wait. It wants me to pick up something? I can hear something. Yeah, I don't see anything we can interact with here. Wait, it's up there. Who the hell would put it up there? Anyway. Okay, let's do... Uh, let's see. the. Um, yeah, let's go back to the lady and buy some new stuff. We now have new rods. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Or at least we can buy one. Hello there. It's never too late for a good bargain. Unless you miss it. Which in this case you might. But you haven't yet. I'll be over here. I'm here, ma'am. I would like to purchase new equipment. I would like to purchase Everyone an starts somewhere. Real. But anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. For real? The Tyro is an ideal first spinning reel that doesn't even begin to skimp on quality. It's a real premium reel at a budget price. Wait, what? A few years ago, I was working in a business a million times the size of Taylor's Tackles. This one's tailor-made for me, though. Strength 7? Wait, what? Did I, did I accidentally buy the 7 one? What piques your interest? Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the Greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. Wait, what? They think I bought that one. I don't think I bought that one. I, I would have bought the two. Wait, what? Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. I swear I bought... I 
And you can't sell the starter stuff. The Tyro is an ideal first spinning reel that doesn't even begin to skimp on quality. It's a real premium reel at a budget price. The Maiden is the preeminent spinner in Junior's rod catalog. Still easy to use, still incredible bang for your buck, but now a little better than the rest. Okay, we got what we needed. Good. All right, let's customize. We're upgrading everything to the 2kg. And we probably need a better bait, but I guess we'll get that whenever. What time is this drop on console? I'm not sure exactly. Let's do this quest, and then we will um, buy our... With our better money, we'll buy a new bait now. I wonder now. why old Bigfoot has decided this to... This fish is most commonly found when the sun is down. Now. You'll have to... What a mystery. When it's dark. Okay, it's dark. Mountain white fish is by far the most common fish in Golden... Ridge Reserve. These fish eat mostly insects, but also feed on eggs, smaller fish, and plankton. As long as the water is deeper than a puddle, these fish will swim there, no matter the elevation. Mountain white fish are hard fighters, but have a notoriety, uh, a notoriously soft mouth, which makes pro prolonged fights less Old likely Clay to land a, nice a fish. Guy. An inherently good guy, even. But he thinks he can do all of this on uh, his own. Mountain white fish are fi ma'am. Pick, pick you know that where I am. To the target these fish is recommended to use eggs. Uh, size 7 for your spinning tackle. Once you bought it from the shop, equip it using the quick menu or rod. Okay, so we need to use eggs for our float tackle or a spinner lure with hook size 7. How much are eggs? The sea never sleeps, and neither do I. What'll it be? What can I get ya? Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. Hot dog. Finally, an all-American fishing bait. These dogs are right, so, so good, I could get... probably reel in old clay with them. Egg. You can put six of them on your, uh... You can get six of them on there. I don't think we have a, uh... Oh, we have live bait, too. Oh, I thought the bloodworm was plastic. There isn't a fish plastic. alive who doesn't love a juicy bloodworm. Bloodworm, blood redworm, leeches. These ones leeches. are alive and wriggling, so Gross. watch out! And then natural bait. I think we're gonna go with the eggs, but I need a little bit more cash. Uh, I don't think we have a spinner at the moment, do we? These salmon eggs are so good you could eat them. Well, if I buy something next time, okay? I don't know if we can set it up for a spinner. Actually, we do have a spinner bait, don't we? Yeah, we have a spinner bait. Well, yeah, they're telling me to get the recommended gear, though, so... Like, it's, it's necessary to buy those eggs. We can go fishing just to get the, uh necessary money to buy that. We only need a couple bucks. Or perhaps we could go back to the ghost town. Not exactly sure where the ghost town is, though. Well, we can also take the boat down to this point. We only need... Yeah, let's do that. And then we can fast travel. We only need a few bucks to get the uh, eggs. And then we gotta do it by nighttime, so we better be fast. On the far right of the map, Ghost Town. How fast travel there in a minute. A 
Let's go rent a boat. Get some quick XP and then get the uh, teleporter back here. We must teleport. Brother, yeah, brother, yeah, yeah, brother, yeah, brother, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind her chatting with me, but it's like everything you click on, she does make a comment on. I want her to say something when I approach for the first time, and then if I make a purchase, then like, and especially if it's something new. I think that is pretty cool, like if I buy a, uh, like let's say I buy a spinner lure for the first time, she should mention something about that. Or just have custom dialogue for every lure, or bait. Gonna take a whole lot of flooring. Can I lure the fish with nugs? That's a good question. I don't know. We can do it with dough. Remy, Faso, Tadida. Was there not a dock here, though? You can just exit from shallow water. Nice. Good, now we got enough for the eggs. Let's go climb the tower. The human history of the park itself began at least 11,000 years ago. When the ancestors of the contemporary Shoshone began to hunt and fish in the region. Obsidian, which you'll see dotted around the park, was a key part of their culture. Brother, yeah. Alright, fast travel back to buy some bait. Or not, there's some more stuff behind us. That happened. Imagine, though, if it's daytime in this game and you have to wait all the way for nighttime to do a certain fishing mission. That'd be kind of annoying. Like, there's a particular fish that you need to end a quest line. You just have to wait. I guess fishing and hunting are waiting games, primarily, but... You know what I mean? The early bird gets the worm. Although, personally, I'd recommend the bird to buy any one of our fantastic baits for a bargain price. Okay, let's change. Uh, catch a mountain whitefish. Get the recommended gear. Okay, then we just need to equip the bait. Used to visit here as a kid. It's just like I remember it. Jeez. For better or for worse. You've come to the right place. These salmon eggs are so good you could eat them. Well, if I hadn't spent my time laboriously treating them for use as fish bait. <laughs> but they look delectable.
Okay, now we have the recommending. Good God. Snakeford? Hello? Oh, yeah, 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 you have to turn it off again. It's off. I heard you crack a cold one. Was that a Pepsi? There's still more to buy. Come back. You're loyal to the Lay's Corporation, aren't you? Sort of. Oh. I don't like to eat their main chips that often. You don't like to eat their main chips? Understood. Alright, it's time to catch a mountain whitefish, Bradford. A mountain whitefish. Rare also, in these parts. Yeah, it seems like some of them prefer different types of water, like running water or shallow shoreline, etc. I mean, I think there might be. I haven't seen it for sure. Oh, yeah, the perfect cast from. Goofy movie. Who's yo? Bradford, don't talk smack during the stream. <laughs> I've created you. I can destroy you. And that goes for this planet. All that I see, I shall destroy. <laughs> wow, Bradford's getting good. He's learning. All right, now we just got to catch a mountain whitefish. Sounds like it'd be a good, like, fish stick or something, right? You know how they always say, like, come on in for our North Atlantic cod sandwich. <laughs> what is a mountain whitefish? It is a fish in the mountains that is white. Oh, some names are kind of dumb. Like, you know what name is really bad? Perch. That's a bad name for a fish. A perch. It just seems meh. I also don't like small and large mouth bass. I think we gotta... I think we're just gonna have to differentiate the two. Gargantuan and Titan. That way... You know, like with the coffee... <laughs> yeah. Does that sound better? Yeah, no, it's great. It's misleading, like how, you know, Starbucks coffee sizes. Like, do you want the oil tanker or... Uh, the refueling tanker. Uh, I'll take the C5 Galaxy. Oh, okay. And then they hand you a thimble and get out. Like, they split an atom in front of you with the microscope. Eight dollars. <laughs> oh, but can you take, can you taste the flavor? No. The answer is no. Quantalus, thanks for the 25 months as a Raptor Plus. Thanks for all the years of entertainment. Raptor, thank you very much for watching, dude. Over two years now. Good to see the blue eye. You've earned it. Congratulations, brother. Bradford, suggest a sound effect. What one would you like to hear? One would I like to hear? Yeah, to congratulate him. Tracker hat. Just, emo, just, amen. just oh. push one. There you go. There you go, brother. Yeah. That's from Bradford. That's direct from my... I, I clicked the button. Yes, he did. Indeed he was. Funny they say that largemouth are actually sunfish and not part of the bass family. Really? Dark. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna set a deeper chat. Face reveal time when he's ready. He'll do it in a million steps. For him. You know what? This weird. I don't see the bobber here. Like even when I toss it in the water, I just don't see it. I gotta make a 23 meter cast though. Yeah, that's about right. Yes, yeah, Bradford's right over there, chat. Yeah, it's almost as if you can hear him. If you close your eyes and picture Pinto, and then Pinto dead, Bradford's here now. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> There's a oh, is it Pinto's funeral? <laughs> no, I think I think it will relate though. 
Is it uh, Black Parade from My Chemical Ro is it, Was it My Chemical Romance who did that? No? Chad, who did My... Uh, who did... Uh, oh, forget it. Does that mean we're going back to uh, Brad Bless? We might. Oh, that was My Chemical Romance? Okay. Oh right. Uh, well, in order in order for art to do that, they need <laughs> he either needs to see a picture of you, or we could just or you could. Well, you know why Pinto's gray now, right? The, yeah, because he's dead to me. He's a ghost now. He's dead. He's ghosted me for far too many times. Yeah, it's truly a rippy mode now. I feel like it's depth. I think the problem here is depth. Is there not an encyclopedia to read about, like, what these fish, like, where they hang out at? That's why I thought so, too. There's, like, a journal, but... It Handbook? Handbook, okay. Oh, but it doesn't tell you until you catch one, though. Oh, that's cool. Oh, actually, no, this is my stats on it. Wait, traits, F. Easily spooked, jumper, last stand. That's kind of cool. The Kokani I don't have time to read F. Oh, God. TLDR text wall. Okay, so those are the ones you just got. So there, this is what I'm looking for. Shallow ponds, deep ponds, and lake shores. It likes bread, pearl, pearly, pearl barley, and eggs. Okay, so you just have to make sure you have the right stuff set up. It's a night owl, more active at night. Tries its best to get off the hook. Oh, that's me on a phone call. And a bottom <laughs> lurker. Oh, my God, same. Prefers to swim close to the bottom. Okay, so there we go. So we know we got to set it to a maximum depth. But let's listen to this TLDR okay, story. So, what, lake? so you're at a lake right now? Yeah. So you're lake shore, so you're the northern pike is a species of coniv... Well, they said it was... They said eggs. For this mission, they told me to get eggs. Oh, oh God, the sun's coming up. All right, let me just... I'm going to go for maximum cast, maximum depth. Well, they're telling me specifically to stand here and do it. You put bread on it right? No, they told me eggs. Bradford, what do you have against eggs? You had one on your burger. You loved it. Yeah, don't. Yeah, the voice of shame. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Bradford, do you want to be part of a farming sim stream? You better behave. Dude, there's some new DLC coming out for that. I hope you're excited. Right for this line strength is beautiful. Look at this. We're reeling them in, brother. Hell yeah. Bro, I'm getting something. Hell yeah! Ooh, better be the right one. Yes, it is. Hell yeah, brother. 851. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Let's play this song. And so can the algorithm. All right, 143. Hell yeah, brother! Wait, catch and cast go to waypoint. Wait, they want me to do it again? It's on the other side of the Wait, let me see where it is. It's on the other side of the lake. It's way over there on the river. Oh, I could probably just fast travel then get a boat. Now you're right. We'll just drive. Can you spawn a boat? I can spawn a boat over right here. Oh, hey. Wow. We're gonna get the tracker X nine fifty eight or four twenty. Wow. Rare brother. Oh yeah, you ever gone gone tubing before? Yeah. Although here's the problem with this boat. No wake at all. Look at that, there's no wake behind. Knee boarding? Wow. Uh, I haven't gotten kneeboarding, but I've gotten tubing and maybe water skiing. Yeah, it's a four-seater. Uh, unfortunately, I'll need three friends. One of them's dead to me, and Bradford's over here. So, I'm, I'm zero for two. Well, and then there's Jerry, but Jerry's living a happy life now. Like, oh, yeah, he gets to drive.
If you guys know anything about Navy guys, they gotta be good at fishing. You've seen Sea of Thieves. I mean, there's no way to survive the Kraken without that extra health. Can't believe that, Bradford. We got screwed by that Kraken. Oh my god. Bradford was mad. He was mad. And, and we like ended the stream early last time we played Sea of Thieves. And I didn't blame him, because it was like, yeah, I don't know. But, you know, that's how the game goes. It's like fishing. Sometimes you get skunked, but it's the experience that matters. And we'll never play the game again. We're not mad, but it'll never be played again. Yeah, it'll never be played again. Meanwhile, Jerry's probably in a championship playoff at Sea of Thieves right now. The Sea of Thieves National Finals. Dude, what would be, like, if they gave away a prize, it'd have to be, well, they'd, it'd have to be a treasure chest full of money. Oh, do they? There's a Sea of Thieves, like, tournament? Oh. I enjoyed when we did PvP, and you know what? That time we did it with Stromy, Jessica B, you and me, it was great. Oh, yeah, that's true. People were just camping and didn't actually want to play. Yeah. Wait, they like deep water. Is it raining? I think it is. Oh, that's way far. I think it was like 19 meters. That's fine. Other people want to take a spot? All right, well, maybe we'll do emote for a day for Raptor Sigma tier. Yeah. Why is it dark? Uh, the sun is down. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Bradford wants to do Tower 3D Pro Chat. I've done that before with Pinto. I don't know if you guys... You guys probably didn't see me play that before, but that is the air traffic control simulator. Is that yeah, a good way to put that? Like you talk. talk yeah. It's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Skull and Bones. I'll probably play that, but I, I don't think it'll be as encapsulating as... We probably won't play it as long as Sea of Thieves. In other words, I'll probably play a bit of Skull and Bones, two, three, four streams, then probably go back to Sea of Thieves. Um, Skull and Bones seems like it's got way too many like things on the screen. Yeah. Well, tonight I want to take a look at some of the Victoria 3 footage. What happened to Palm? Uh, Palm went off to college. We had like a little disagreement a little tuffle but then i think we made up but then he went off to college anyway and uh and then 2020 hit and i lost touch with a few people because of that but he seems to be doing well i think he graduated from uh a very nice college i can't remember what it was it's one that focuses on robots it starts with a d anyway he graduated from there and i think he's now going into another program I think he's still studying, but now he's doing something else. So good for him, and nothing but love and respect. And I think he's uh, probably going to do something with programming or something like that. Dartmouth? No, not that. <laughs> not that college. At least I don't think. It's out there? Yeah. See the bobber? Oh, I know. Yeah, you can't really see the bobbers in this game. It, yeah, I think it's... It looks like the line's under your... Like, the one's through the bobbers. Oh, true. It goes in the bottom of your boat. True. Yeah, it would be nice if you could actually see your bobber. Like, at night, you'd have to use some sort of reflective fishing. Now, I don't think it was Dravai. It was, uh... Let's see. I'd be down though. Oh, I'm sorry. It was Purdue. It was Purdue. Yeah, I was thinking 
<laughs> I was thinking per the D in Purdue. Yeah, it's Purdue University. So good for him. All right, there we go. Woo! Hey, man, brother, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fishy, fishy time, brother. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn it. I got, I got greedy. I thought he would wait, wait one pound. I got greedy. I was tired of waiting. I got greedy. That's all me. Oh, uh, it's okay. Not that mad. But I don't understand in this game why there's just not a way to skip time. Because if some of the fish are going to be sensitive for the time of day, they need to... What the f... What? Now, okay, that time I was much more careful. I guess I'm just going to put the... Uh... Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the uh, drag way out there. One nice thing, though, is that we don't have to rebuy uh, other stuff. Like, we don't have to rebuy bobbers and, like, a line and stuff. We just have to rebuy bait. So, there is a bit of tax on everything you catch. Even if you do a perfect catch on everything, you're gonna eventually have to go back and recatch it again. You know, for upkeep. Yeah. Oh, really? Is it getting... Is it getting hung up on the boat? Yeah, I'm going to stand up here. I don't, I don't know if it mattered. Yeah, but... I, I I don't know if there's, like, better bobbers for it. We'll just pretend all those other times didn't happen. All right, chat, first try here for whatever fish we're looking for. Never seen it before at all. You know, honestly, that shouldn't matter, though, because if you're playing multiplayer, that's going to be a big pain in the neck trying to, like, you know, everybody's in the boat, the boat's facing the wrong way. It seems just like for a gaming convenience. Like, realism, yeah, you'd want to do it this way. But as for game... You know, so long as it's in the water, it's fine. It should be. In this game? Oh. DLCs, new locations, new boats. Um, it already has multiplayer. Raptor up this late? Is it the end of days? Now, Bradford's visiting, and we went out to eat, and I still wanted to stream for a bit. After this, I'm going to go take a look at Victoria 3 and kind of do a first... I'm mostly going to just watch the live stream and kind of react to it while I'm watching it live. It's going to be kind of a lazy video. But to be honest, it's going to be the first look and only footage that there is for Victoria 3 for gameplay. And I wanted to see it. Bradford's a big fan of Hearts of Iron. And I really liked Anno 1800. And I do like uh, Hearts of Iron as well. So it might be a game that me and Bradford will play in the future, maybe together. Especially if there's that... What do you call it, Bradford? When two people run a country? Co-op co mode or co couch mode? I thought they had something... War room mode or something? Oh. Yeah, the game told me to cast it out like six meters, like right there. But, all right, we'll do the we'll do the big O cast, chat, okay? We'll go 23 meters. There. And now we play the waiting game. Yep. Ah, ba 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 ba. You want to do a shout out there, Bradford? Yeah, so the guy in chat just dropped a big old five bomb. A five bomb from Raya Stream. Thank you, dude, for the big old five bomb. Let's get you a uh, hype train. <laughs> Thank you, dude, for the big O support. Appreciate that very, very much. Choo choo, chat. Choo choo. That's right. That's like Bradford on the gristle of a rare steak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. All right, I feel like it's too early now, and the fish got mad at me. Damn it. I'm glad I did it wrong so many times, though, because like I, I know now that like your line. 
If it's an easy fight, that doesn't mean it's over just because it's near the end of the boat. Or the edge of the boat. What do we got what do we do for dinner? Uh well we had chicken avocado egg rolls. Bradford thought they were interesting. I thought they were great. And then we both had bison burgers. Although Bradford got the much fancier bun. They must have they gave me like the uh the leftovers bun. <laughs> Bradford like got simple tier bun and I got like giga chad. Yeah, Bradford got like the one made of like the last seeds of the Yigdusil. Yig and uh, I got like the uh, basic uh, chicken sandwich from. Mc I swear to God, like that's probably what took a little while for the food. They had to send someone out to McDonald's to go get a, a double Whopper or something, or I mean, a wherever burger. Actually, I think Burger King is probably closer. <laughs> they s sent someone out to get a Whopper. They threw out the insides of the burger and then they just put it inside there. I was mistreated, abuse, chat, abuse. Uh, and I'm mad as as I was uh, offended. But we had so many fries that me and Bradford couldn't even, we didn't even come close. Bradford actually had more food on the plate <laughs> when we left than when it was set on the table somehow magically. Yeah, somehow there was just more fries and more everything. I appreciated the scene that they created for us. Like they had this tipped over, um, like they hand, they, they put the thing on the table where it was like, they handed us something the size of like a, uh, like a tiny cup, but it had like half a bag of a right of fries in it. It was crazy. But I, I was thinking about having a steak, but I was like, no, nah, I want to have a burger. Because they, they said that the burger had um, an egg on it, and that's what sold me. They, I haven't had a fried egg on a burger since like 2010 or something. So I had to do it. First try! Yeah! I swear to God, this is now the mountain whitefish. Gonna be pissed. Yeah, there it is. Yeah! Oh, I'm almost a thousand points. It certainly is. Wow, our first first try chat at 10.64 degrees Celsius. What what does that even mean? Like the temperature of the water? Like why? They don't really tell you the temp. I don't know why that matters for the. Okay. Anyway, job done. Well, it's just those two because now the quest is done. So now I got 112 bucks. I can spend it on more stuff, but. Yeah, it's probably... Well, you're right, because, like, the thing with this game is that if you're going to go for a new... Bigger fish, give more money. So that means you need a thicker line. But to have, like, a line that goes from, like, 0.5 kg to 2 means that you have to have a bigger reel, a bigger rod, and a bigger line. So then you, you got to buy a few things, yeah. All right, maybe we can go to Ghost Town, which is not there. That is my marker. Chat, where was Ghost Town? You guys said to the... Over here? Oh, that's a... That's a waterfall. Silver Mines. Oh, North... Hot Springs. Oh, there's the ghost town. Wow, that's way over there. Oh, wait. Yeah, why not just stop at every, like, di gold diamond on the way? I don't think I get much money for this, but there are certainly more fish there. We could go there, though. Okay, let's do, uh... Grab the whip. That's the shop. Oh, well, that is her. That means this is over here. Don't talk to me, ma'am. Don't say anything. Quiet. Oh, yeah. We're going to Pinto's house. <laughs> How to catch smallmouth bass. Yellow perch. I've caught all these, but I can do these again later for extra cash. Those are. It's actually nice that the tutorial does give you money. Because at least it shows, you know, we. if you've gone fishing before, you've probably caught one of those fish before and you know how to do it, but... It's always different when you have to translate things from IRL to a game to see what things that they've included or what they haven't. How they've gamified things to make it either easier or more satisfying. You know, because nobody truly wants to, like, sit around for hours waiting for a fish, which can happen sometimes. Then it gets really exciting, especially when you get that... Oh, BS. That's because you killed everything. I've played with you before. 
Bro, I, I thought an M60 was hacked into the game. You're like, I got them all. Yeah, you did. You're like Ash Ketchum, fully automatic Ash Ketchum. Like, we went to that Mexico map and you killed everything. Or maybe it was Germany. That was a beautiful map, though. But I enjoyed playing Way of the Hunter recently. That's got a little bit more, uh, a little more challenge to it. But I don't, I don't not mind that. Wow, I'm like Sarah Connor now, driving off at the end of T2 after writing that letter to John. It'll buff out. Some of the ladies in chat wear that it'll buff out shirt every night to bed. I'm sure, hoping that one day it truly will buff out. And you know what, ladies? There's nothing wrong with a little scratch and dent, okay? But don't, don't, don't date somebody who treats you like GameStop. Even if you're pristine, they'll still give you the best they can do three times. For the God of War Ragnarok Ultra Collector's Edition, one-to-one -one scale replica of boy, best you can do, three dollars. <laughs> like, that's it. That's it. Best we can do. Oh, it's, it's made of pure unobtainium? Two dollars. Price is down now. Now that we know unobtainium exists, best we can do is less than what we can do. Yeah, this is a <laughs> yeah, this is a rally racer. I need Bradford to like navigate for me and tell me about the turns coming up. Yeah. Oh, dude, you owe... Oh, you're looking to trade in your car? Oh, you actually owe us now. More. Yeah, me and Bradford walked past a GameStop at the Mall of America, and it was called Mall of... It was called GameStop, and then below it, it said Pop Culture. But it didn't have... Like, it, we walked past it twice on our travels, and it didn't look any... Like, there was the PlayStation wall, the Switch wall, and, like, the... You know, the Xbox wall, and then just the used bin, and that was it. There was nothing... Like, pop culture, what are you selling guitars or vinyl? Like, what do you mean pop culture? Like, what could they sell? Posters? Oh. Yeah. Driving this car sucks. Like, it's so much easier to just drive across the open ground. Trying to stay at the road, you're going to end up crashing and plowing into signs and stuff. It's better just bottoming out the transmission. Yeah, I like, just go over the rocks at 90. <laughs> what the hell? What's going on? Like, I'm in, I'm in like, a minefield testing range. I think I'll just walk the rest of the way. The hot springs here are an esteemed natural resource, first utilized by the ancestors of the Shoshone, further back than the books go. Mountain men exploring the area came back with tall tales of bubbling mud and steaming rivers, oh, no. yep. leading to high ridicule yep. from their despondent it. comrades. It seems nature's gems were dismissed as pure delirium. <laughs> But further expeditions and explorations elucidated the matter better than words ever could. <laughs> the bear, stories the bear weird. lodge, yeah. And, and let me guess, I can go inside. Geysers no, were okay. our park's very own wonder. Of all the buildings, the history of our hot springs one. as a hot property goes back to 1906, and one Gregoire Lacroix, a French Canadian immigrant who staked a mining claim on the banks of this here park. What he found himself in was a spot of hot water. And much like that Archimedes fella, soon thunk a something craft. They did. Riverbank hot tubs were the first place his mind went. And soon folk from all over were following along. Decades later, mud ain't the only thing heating up. Turns out Mother Nature's bounty ain't half easy to make a few pennies off. But hey, what can you do? They treat me nicer than any other parasites I got. And they never forget my birthday. Which is more than I can say for my tapeworm. What the hell? Oh, that's a footbridge. Oh, I could park down there. 
What is that? That is the... Oh, the railway. Cool. And the ghost town. That's cool. Two for ones. Think so? Yeah, this red, this red is... Uh... Yeah, this is supposed to be walking trails. Wait a minute, that can't be true. They literally have a Jeep a car valet there. So it's got to be like the orange or the main roads, the red or like the scenic route or something. Wow, look at that. Ooh, the hot springs. Oh, that's what I drove across. Oops. No, for sure. I think I should just go directly east, southeast. Gotta hit that 4x4 four four freedom mode. Okay. Oh no. Well, so much no for that. Rocks. Can't stop us now. We're having a good stream. Oh, shit. That's oh, mean to be. Oh, yeah, it's meant to be like Yellowstone. Bye, Bradford. Did I put a marker on it? Yeah, we're good then. I just need to go to the marker. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wang fist with the five. That's a good one, dude. I'm not going to be able to drive through these trees. No way. I'm gonna drive down to that other car spawner. You know, it's interesting, there's no way to, like, reset the vehicle if you get stuck. I think there should be, though. Tape worms are people, too. Remember, if you're cold, they cold. Bring them inside. Oh, I like this. When you mark track something, it and it's on a specific marker, it shows you the marker for that thing. Rather than just the generic marker for, hey, go here, it shows you, like, what you were going to, which is the vehicle in this case. Wow, dude. Yeah, Call of the Wild got proper cars. This is cool. I don't mind that we can't, like, tow a boat or something like that. I think these roads are a little too narrow, honestly, and a little bit of a pain in the ass to drive, but not that big of a deal. Ah, jacuzzi. Hey, Buck. I'm getting wiggle on down to Silver Strand Meadows. So catch me there. Bye for now. Seems like the park ranger also moves around, too, so you'll have to, uh... Go to different locations to talk to him for quests. Oh, well, we got some XP for that. Okay. So now, let's go eastbound and down. Well, actually, if we go, if we take this road, we could hit the... Yeah, okay, we could hit all three of these. And then maybe we'll go fishing on the river, or at least down here. Let's do that instead. Let's hit the road. Okay, let's go. Music sounds nice. Yeah, I think it's good really chill. This game is, um, you know, just like when we played Hunter Call of the Wild, this game too is uh, quite chill. We played uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator, that was good. Way of the Hunter was good. And this one is uh, good as well. At least it's a nice open world to explore with friends. Chill out a bit. Go put your fishing skills to the test. Put a bit of luck too. 
just like real fishing, you can have the best gear in the world, but that doesn't guarantee a fish, and that doesn't guarantee you the best fish, but it helps. Oh yeah, actually, me and Bradford did play uh, Hypercharged on Box. That, that game was great. Uh, actually, I think we played through the whole game. Pretty sure. Full playthrough on the channel? This area looks dead. It kind of reminds me of that area in um, Days Gone when you're like meeting up with the Deschutes County Militia and they've like burned all the area around the camp or whatever. They've made several outposts and bases. Gotta flip around here. You just saw a new trailer for Hypercharge Unbox. Oh, good. Yeah, they might have had a content update or something, but uh, I feel like I want to play that game again when there's like a full release because it's really fun. That game is uh, quite good. Ah, oh, see, this is why this game needs a third person mode. Oh, thank God, a road that's actually open. Look at that, brother. Wow, cool. Dude. Oh, God, not good. Not good. Oh, did I find any fossils yet? They told me that fossils are found in caves and in tunnels. And I've not found any of those yet. I'm too busy playing Call of the Rally Race right now. Yeah, this would be much easier to drive with a controller. Oh my god, I'm playing with mouse and keyboard, but... Luckily, I, I guess we only have to drive these areas once. This is gorgeous, though, driving through here. The lake is really beautiful. We might be able to just do a, a boat rental. Wait, it's telling me I'm here? Oh, there's a boat dock there. Oh, yeah, we can take a boat across the lake instead. Oh, there must be a hydroelectric dam somewhere. That might be it right there. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Uh, let's take a boat and visit some of these locations now that it's daytime. All right, this is going to be cool. Ah, oh, beautiful sunrise, dude. Gorgeous. Lake awesome. Alright, cool. I do like how it's not just fishing, though. I, I wish they would give us a camera, though, to, like, take pictures of things and make it a quest to actually do fishing. You should do actual fishing? We have been. And I do in real life. The game is requiring us to go to some new locations to find new places to fish. And uh, it is also part of, of the game to explore. There we go. Yep, you can fish off the boat. Yep, you can fish off the shoreline, docks, bridges. Fish off the uh, boat. More people can be on the boat. You can move positions on the boat. Very nice. I wish there were... I don't see any options in the game to buy new cars or boats. It would be kind of cool to do different boats for whatever reason, I guess. They've given you new paint jobs, but nothing says that they won't include new boats for, like, free and updates. I'm not really bothered by it at all. I mean, a boat's a boat, so, you know, whatever floats the boat is good. No, I don't see a fish finder on the boat, no. But maybe that'll be a thing. Maybe they'll add some things like that. But I do like that they've made it open world at least, so that way you can actually, you can play with friends on like complete opposite sides of the map, but being like the same, like the same adventure. 
Okay, we're gonna need to get up to that tower too. Oh, this morning is beautiful. Look at that. Is a rental Open canyons you could park a plane in means you're far out in Ruby River Range. While you're there, drop by the outpost. Much like any other outpost, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation. Okay, so let's see. We've unlocked this location. Let's go see the dam then. And then we'll go up to the ghost tour in the railway and then we'll probably start fishing somewhere around the town that seems like a nice spot to keep on going a boat where you fishing oh you can fish anywhere in the boat yeah the boat is uh it seems accessible in any sort of lake the game also does have ponds and stuff too maybe we can fish on a little island too there's an island there All right, let's go to the dam. Only I li yeah, I like the open world concept. The only thing I wish is that there was third person because you could make a character, but that's mostly for your friends to see. You don't get a lot unlocked in the first person, or I mean, in the when you create your first character, you kind of have to earn it over time. There also seems to be a beautiful tower over there, too. That's another location to go to. Another cool thing is that you can actually save, like, quote-unquote loadouts in this game for your... You know, you can bring, like, multiple setups in your backpack, and so you can carry r multiple rods and reels and supplies with you and either change them there or... Like, have them prefabbed, so if you're searching for or trying to fish, like, two different types of fish, you can switch between the rods you've got set up. What about the train? We're going to go back north. We probably can't ride it, but it's a... Uh, this is probably, like, an old west train. Like, right now, we seem to be <laughs> in a gorgeous canyon. There's no doubt that's beautiful. Absolutely. There uh stairwell there? No. Cool. Nice parking. So this is the Opal Run Dam. I guess we can fish off the dam too. This dam here was built in the 1950s. And out of all the taxes the land has to pay, it's one of the better ones. This structure allows proper irrigation of the surrounding farmland. And while I wouldn't say it's as grand as some of the other sites in the park, it's a monument of sorts. Unfortunately, that monument releases greenhouse gases, deprives ecosystems of nutrients, destroys habitats, raises sea levels, wastes water, but... Ah, hey. Best of a bad bunch. Hmm. No, I didn't see any third-person options. Damn, that boat looks great, though. That's cool. That's pretty. All right, up to the ghost house or ghost town or whatever, and then to the train and then back to ghost town to fish.
Nice. Nope, I haven't seen any fall damage. Uh, I don't think anything can kill you in this game. If you fall in the water, you just basically get uh, teleported either to the nearest... Like, I don't think you can fall off the boat because you're locked to positions, but um, if you fall off a dock, you can actually walk in water up to about waist high, and then it'll tell you, like, hey, alert. Yeah, it, you know, it's an open world game, so, like, you know, you're not always going to be fishing, like, if it were... In many of the other games that we played, you know, it's like you, um, you know, you, you pick a map, and you can, you can walk around the lake a little bit, but... You know, you can also teleport to fast travel points or whatever. Is this live right now? It is. Yep. Wait, how are we getting through on the left? Oh, the right. Would be nice if there was a GPS in the boat and the car, or a fish finder at least. If it's oh what? Okay. This boat doesn't even have that keel depth on this is not we're not we're not driving the aircraft. Okay. My right, note to self, don't even try to go through <laughs> don't even try to go through a shallow area. Nice. Barrel roll. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'd probably be able to do that if you hit a rock hard enough or something. I'm sure the game will have some sort of crashing mechanics. I feel like the roads are very tight, very steep, and uh, covered with obstacles. Driving is quite challenging. It seems like once you've done the driving, either A, fast travel only, or B, get a controller. Uh, it's kind of hard to control your speed. If there was a, a cruise control for the car, it would make it a little bit easier if you could just stay at a slower speed. Oh, cool. A railway bridge. Oh, it's beautiful. A little sightseeing down here. Okay, so we gotta go under the bridge. Yeah, I wanted to, I mean, the first goal they give you is to like go and explore, but it's a task that you can, there's like 13 major points of interest on the map, so it's not like you're, I don't know. Do a little fishing, then when you get bored, doing a little exploring. When you get bored, go back to fishing. Definitely a game where they want you to explore, collect. And then there's weird challenges like, hey, here's where we took a random picture. Go see if you can find where that is and go find a, f like, go catch a fish where this random photo is. So it's like you got to pay attention to the landscape and then this you got to do fishing. This here is what folks call ghost town. I guess it's 10 key Although locations. Although a few hundred no, years 14. ago, you'd have known 13. it as Prosperity Spring. 
the mining hub of Wyoming. Lovely name, but there's nothing nice about chipping away at nature's beauty for some pretty rock. Maybe hard to picture now, but the powers that be didn't always see the value in protecting a place like Golden Ridge. Instead, getting carried along in the gold rush that washed the reserve down the drain. It's hard to say how much damage the toxic metal and acid runoff did to the park. Damage! I'm relieved to say that those that could put their foot down before the Elks, Bears, and whatever Johnson was around got ran out of house and home. Now the town rots where it stands and the gold stays where it should. Now that's a lot of damage! All right, we'll go fishing back there soon. We'll have to retool ourselves to not... Um, we've got bait that is better for white mountain fish or what, whatever we call it, mountain white fish. Go back to uh, Raymond Guerrilla Warfare. Yeah, maybe. Um, with Bradford here, I have a mixed match of different things I want to do. I want to still make videos for you guys on news and things like, for example, uh, Victoria 3. Here you see the tracks of my tears. One more of man's attempts to siphon away nature's bounty at a heavy cost. This railway here carried a precious cargo out of the park to be refined and sold for coin. However, it got shut down when the powers that be did the right thing for once. After the mining industry was ixnayed here at the park, we had no more need for a choo-choo or two. Now they're gone to join the rest of the metal they hauled out of here. You guys got a lot of, like, gripes and anger. Okay, anyway, we can probably fast travel to that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can. All right, let's go see the ghost city and let's do some fishing. Now, how much uh, do we explore? We explored pretty much everything around this lake. South is the dam. How many more points of interest are there? Two? Three? Four? Five? Okay, let's do... Fishing over here. What's wrong with the choo-choo or two? I don't know. Buford got his jammies on and went to bed. He is probably watching YouTube or something. He forgot I was streaming. <laughs> went to go watch somebody else. My own house. Now it's cool. He do it. He does whatever he wants. I told him to make himself at home. You know. Can you fish with dynamite? Uh, no. Am I still streaming? Well, I started about two and hours or three hours and fifteen minutes ago, and I want to go our usual time to like get a. You know, our first look at this game. Uh, the water's so ugly. Uh, it might be my settings. I'm not sure. Maybe it's... Uh, don't judge the book by the cover, since I might not have things set up right. I kind of noticed some weirdness, too, but it could be on me. But you can always set your settings to be a little bit better. On your end. Oh, some of these settings were set to medium. Oh, it was like on medium. Oh. Oh, water detail was only on, like, high. Okay. Well, let's see if we turn it up. Didn't even know. Alright. Chat, everybody close your eyes and I'll tell you when to open them. Okay, everybody close your eyes. Okay, open them. Is it better? The under, under the bridge still looks a little weird, I'll be honest. And what is up with the weird motion blur thing? 
No, it seems better now. Maybe it'll get better over time. Uh, try my spinner bait. We could do that. Yeah, I haven't tried that out. Um, was there a tutorial for that? I'm gonna do spinner bait. I'm gonna try it over here. Maybe, maybe the. Maybe the dock here will have some more. Uh, one's in the chat if you just got a notification about this stream. If you just showed up because the notification literally within the last 30 seconds to a minute gave you a notification. Curious. So how do I set this up for spinning? Are you sure you want to leave? I'll change it. We lost. Okay. Oh, choose a fishing style. First, we got to choose a style. So there's a jig head, which Bradford was talking about before. Then there's the lure spinning. So that's what we want, right? But I don't have that kind of a reel for it. So we have to do floater for now until we buy a. We have to buy a uh, spinning rig, which is interesting because they give you a. They give you a lure for that at the start. Wait, unless... Hold on. That might be incorrect. And yes, it was. Oh, let's try spinner fishing. You just equipped your first spinning tackle. If you've never been spin fishing before, make sure to check the instructions on the instruction board in the Diamond Peak Outpost. View the Silver Strand Meadows Outpost. Or visit. Okay. Let's go learn how to do some spinning fishing. Wait, that's Golden Ridge R Reserve. Visit Silver Strand Meadows. Um, Silver Strand Metal Meadows. Well, this isn't, I don't think this is the right place unless it's on the board. Oh, it is. Is there a name for this place? This is the Golden Ridge Reserve. This is not the Silver Strand Meadows, okay. Wait, oh, that's for another mission. My bad. My mistake. back to teach you the ins and outs of spin fishing. Step up to the pier if you please. All your notifications for the channel get sent to the uh, spam folder. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds about right, my friend. Sounds about right. Alright, let's learn how to fish. Can't spin fish without a spin fishing rod. Spin fishing is a different method that involves keeping the leer in constant motion to attract fish. Spin fishing is all about matching your lure to the retrieval <coughs> technique to a fish's preferred target. Your lure imitates an object of interest to your target, usually a prey fish. And different retrieval techniques work better to emulate the swimming behavior of different injured bait fish. Different retrieval techniques also make it easier to fish at different depths. Depending on the weight of your lure, or lure, the fish 
you're targeting, make sure to keep an eye on your depth meter. Ah, here we go. Okay. Spin fishing is all about the retrieval technique. There are many techniques, but the most common are constant, which reels in at a consistent pace, stop and go, meaning you reel stop, reel stop, giving your lure time to sink back down, and twitching, meaning you move your lure around using the action of your rod while reeling in. Wow. Oh, that's real with... Yeah, we gotta do the constant method. Excitement. Great. Now let's see your stop and go. Have I ever fished in real life? Oh, many times, yeah. I've gone hunting a lot, but fishing far more. Good morning from Sweden. Oh, Mogon. Amadou. Will you check out the Commandos 3 HD Remastered? I tried to get a key for that and uh, requested access before it came out, but um, now that it's out, it's like uh, I'm, I'm a little busy today and tomorrow, so if they send me one, I might check it out uh, in the next couple of days. I'd like to, for sure, definitely take a first look. I've, I've played Commandos 1 and 2, and I don't remember playing 3, so it might be like a first look for me. I can't remember it. Some of the pictures look familiar, but I don't know if it was either from... Me looking at pictures at, in awe when I was younger and thinking it was super cool, or... I can't remember. Did you cast it across the lake? Yeah, no kidding. Alright, uh, the tackle shop has different lures for four different spinning techniques. It's a constant, stop and go, twitching, and jigging. Uh, in this instruction, we'll cover the first two techniques. Together with the float fishing, this should allow you to target a wide variety of fish in the reserve. Now we gotta catch a fish, of course. Alright, let's do the constant technique. Is there a way to slow down the uh, real speed? Yeah, there we go. About as slow as we can go, though. If you get access, play the Omaha Beach mission. Oh, that seems cool. I didn't know that was in there. I thought it was all just Berlin and end war stuff. We'll do the stop and go method. Or the constant method again. There we go. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, brother. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's struggling. 
No, you don't, sir. It's a big one. It's got to be a massive gargantuan. Wow, it actually is a big one. Wow, a rainbow trout. Yeah, sweet. Very nice. That's a big boy. Damn. 2kg. 2900. Damn. Wow. Man. That's our best fish. Cool. A bronze, but hell, way more XP from uh, that one. Ooh. You want me to check out your ga uh, Gates of Hell mods? Of course, Stern Fury. I want to actually, um, I put it on my schedule uh, to play one of those next week. Gates of Hell in general, but I, I got it in the back of my mind. I would like to go back every once in a while and check those out too. But yeah, I will definitely check out more of Gates of Hell and your mods, dude. As soon as I can. Maybe I can get Bradford into more Gates of Hell. I think he played with me before. I need a friend for multiplayer. Yeah, I'm sure Bradford's played before. Whoa, look at this. Our, our rod is almost too... Uh, nice. 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 We've mastered the 69. Nice. Nice. This game is good, dude. I like this game. Uh, or at least, I, I like the whole fishing technique and stuff. Is there is there more for us to learn now? It's free money, and it's super easy. Let's check the... Uh, what do we have for cash? 615, bro! We made so much money off that one fish. Uh... All those fish are all just bobber fishing. Hello, ma'am. Morning there. Interested in the best money can buy? Take a look at these. You mean a membership on the channel by clicking and tapping join? Everyone yeah. starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. We got match, bait casting, and spinning reels. Oh boy, I wouldn't even know where to go from here. I think we're fine. The Tenderfoot is your first stop on the bait casting line, traveling through Trout Street Station all the way to Largemouth Terminal. Before you blink, you'll be in angling Nirvana, so make sure you send your old pal a postcard. Uh. Looks like these are all different types of sizes of, uh. Spinner bait, which is fine. What time is released? Sometime, uh, tomorrow. This little beauty activates a special sense organ in the fish called the lateral line system, pretending to be prey at a distance. Pretty neat, huh? Could be yours. Could be. I would assume it's probably going to be out in less than 12 hours tomorrow. We got spinner baits, spinners, poppers, frog, spoon, swim bait, jerk bait, and crank bait. Crank baits are easily some of the top producing lures for any fish that are hungry for smaller fish. It may even tempt a few that aren't hungry yet. Really? Any, any comment on jerkbait, man? Boombait? I'll let you in on a secret. I did say we were all about deals down here at Taylor's Tackles. And no, no we are. But we're also all about jerkbaits. Go on, give one a try. You won't regret it. Spoon frog. First time I saw these, I thought they were real. And if they can fool me, they can sure fool a fish. What? This little beauty activates a special sense organ in the fish called the lateral line system, pretending to be prey at a distance. Pretty neat, huh? Could yeah. be yours. Spinnerbait, uh, you only need to buy that once, so that's cool. The hook size on the one that we got at the start is an 8. But I guess that's what you're buying is mostly hook size. That seems to be the only difference between them. At least in the game. So these ones are relatively small. These are a little bit bigger for bigger fish. Uh, honestly, with this one at hook size 8, we caught a, what, 4... Was it 4 kg? Our line is... Wait. It wasn't 4, was it? Our line is only set for 2, isn't it? I feel like we should just save our money for more reels, lines, and rods. 
So we probably should buy us a better rod. Somewhere. But anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. I think we just grind for a little bit until we get to like maybe 5k or something like that and then just buy like like a tier 5 rod, a tier sure 5 reel, tier 5 line and then just some other spinner bait. Spinner bait seems like they're going to make a lot a hell of a lot of money. All right, let's try one last time. Yeah, the bait gets uh, bigger. Oh, they, they, there's different sizes, yeah. Uh, yeah, it seems like you only play in first person. I haven't found an option to switch. I'm not sure. Trout level up quick. Yeah, if we can find him. Oh, damn. Oh, what? Wow, he bit right at the end, and oh man, I didn't even get a chance to react to that. It was just like, struck and then gone. Wow. That was unfair. There we go. Nice. A large mouth bass. Hell yeah, brother. 1300 on that one. Hell yeah. Wow, almost got us up to 100% with the uh, pole. And almost 100% with the damn uh, reel, and the uh, bait is like up 5%. Wow. Wow. We got a jumper, ladies and gentlemen. What a cool game, man. A couple things I, I don't like that I hope change are like third per or first person only. For I don't mind that maybe for the fishing. Kind of makes more sense to be able to see the rod and the reel and the perspective of the fisherman. But uh, would like a third person for the boat driving and the car driving. Also, some sort of way to switch to day-night cycle. Um, where you can switch from like noon to 2 p.m. or 6 a.m. or something. Because, um, yeah, I, I could understand it with multiplayer not being able to switch time. But single player, you should be able to switch to any time you want. So that way you can uh, catch the fish that you feel like catching at the time. That, that's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, that is it for our time here today for our first look at Call of the Wild, the Angler. Very cool. I hope there's some uh, more updates to the game, more day one updates. Uh, a couple of things are a little weird with the look at the water, but it might just be my settings or something like that. Otherwise, a very beautiful and gorgeous world. I'm going to get out of here and go do some recording for uh, you all tomorrow for um, uh, Victoria 3. Probably not going to be a live stream tomorrow morning as me and Bradford, uh, he wants to go to amusement park and uh, that'll be my second time going this year. So I'm all down to do that. Never gone two times in the year. So I'll see you all tomorrow for more Big O streams on the channel. We'll be back with something tomorrow night and uh, I'll see you all soon. Maybe Buford T Gamer will stream. Who knows? But I'll be back, hopefully, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good afternoon, good evening, good night, and I'll see you all soon. Good night, folks. Take care. Catch you next time. Get it? <laughs>